First thing I see is, yeah, I'll chill with the emotes, and no, no, I disagree. Continue the emotes. Rave even harder. <laughs> oh, God, how's it going, folks? Hope you're all well. Hope everyone's having a good start to the week. We got a new emote. As you may be able to spot, the wonderful RT game Rave has been made by our very own cat. It's wonderful. It's it's so cute. You animated emote at last. So good. I hope everyone likes it. I hope everyone gets good use out of it. I think it's wonderful. Reef is just doing her best. It's also like the perfect emote for whenever we cut to like camera chat in future. Just celebrate Marie. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Yeah, hope everyone's having a good start to the week. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear the game okay? We'll <laughs> we'll go into what this is. To be honest, I'm as lost as the rest of you. Uh, let, 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 let me just cut to it. Hang on. Welcome to an airport for aliens, currently run by dogs. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, conveniently, the the game page for this on Steam, the dev even states it's like call it just the dog airport game when you forget the full title. So welcome to dog airport game. It's close enough. It does the job. Uh, thank you very much, Kelly, for recommending this game. Um, she just discovered it because it sounded weird and gave it a go on her own stream. And I thought, you know, let's let's experience what it's like to be lost in an airport. Specifically for aliens currently run by dogs. Can we abbreviate it? Sure. It's just A-A-F-A-C-R-B. Or a f a c f b Handy acronym. Bless you. Uh, Detective David Diamond, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. 
Cheap, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Thank you so much. Good insert time of day, Dan. How was insert latest food eaten? It was... Insert... Insert feel nice feel in here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bug, thank you for five gift subs as well. Tasty food. Insert meal here was an insert tasty compliments to the chef here. Have the sacred emote now. But yeah, we're gonna check out whatever this is. I don't know either. Uh, I'll just see if there's anything I can adjust it. I mean, that's an options menu. Let's go. Oh, I already got an achievement. You stared at plane. Thank you for supporting our weird dog airport game. <laughs> Here's our pupper decks. What's this? I'm surprising Chris here with a cage to dinner at our next meeting. Courtesy of Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages. He's a bit intimidating, but I think Krista will love it. None of this is suspicious at all. I, I've gotten many questions. I, I've just opened the game. Fact not sure, Hobby's feeling woozy. <laughs> Hello? How you doing, Krista? Press P to pet the dog. Look around, move, jump, you can run, interact, scroll, inventory, use item, throw item, main menu, slash the pupper decks. There is a human, this is false advertising. <laughs> That's not a dog. Uh, that is, though. <laughs> Wait, so what, what, what's interact? Left click. Oh hey, you remember that dog you hired to cater our anniversary? You dropped a piano on your head and locked us in a metal box. In hindsight, trusting a dog named Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, was a bit of a mistake. I don't blame you for doing it, but a mistake was absolutely made. <laughs> These are v that's a very specific dialogue option. There's a backstory here we are just not familiar with. It's like, well, he... He said he made a killer chicken parmesan. And yet the first course was cake. There was no part of this but a seven foot dog looming over our table it wasn't as suspicious as possible. Seven foot tall dog at certain point didn't have a choice. Very good point. Anyway, I put together this board to help you move your limbs again. You remember how to use airports, right? You remember, you're fine. Krista, I just got ambushed by a seven-foot-tall dog caterer. I mean, we got ambushed by a seven-foot-tall dog caterer. This is not the time for selfishness. I have suffered traumatic cardboard-related head injury, my darling, but I would choose not to resent the extremely large metal-working dog. <laughs> I've suffered some trauma. And yet you remember complicated words like darling. Truly, you are an inspiration to mankind. Two of us, including me. Do you already remember that we're the only two human beings left in the universe? That if you hadn't woken up just now, I'd be all alone. Because my fiance chose to trust a massive dog named Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, to cater our anniversary. Didn't make this giant arts and crafts project to drown my fears in cardboard and marker fumes. I think it of someone else. I'm sorry, Crystal. I'll be more careful about the giant suspicious dogs I trust in the future. Both our sakes. Thank you. I would have missed you, weirdo. Seriously, you take flights. Get aboard and pass. Find your gate. Find ways to pass time. Maybe throw a tennis ball at a dog to see what happens. You really do know what you're doing. Like the alien language. You can just sight read at this point, right? You are a natural. What? Idea, how about we ignore potential disaster like responsible adults? Sure. Relax for as long as you need to. The airport is undergoing renovations, so things will be quieter for a while. No one will bother you. When you're feeling up for it, meet me on, on Beachwell. We wait in the middle of that big concourse leading to the greater lighthouse. To get back to my job with Iron Dog. You know how it is. The big project can't exactly wait. Of course. 
glad the giant piano didn't break your head. Happy anniversary. Is everyone following okay? I love you, weirdo. Love you too, weirdo. See you on beach, well. That, 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 that's, en that's enough of a plot. I'm sure. We can climb out of the cage. Well, welcome to our airport. Witness dog. Oh god! <laughs> that sound! You watch me and my fiance get kidnapped by a seven foot tall dog. Listen, I am very small. <laughs> Don't get involved! When I see a cute anniversary dinner turn into a hostage situation and a possible concussion, I stay quiet. Well, that does seem like an abdication of responsibility. I'm two years old, man. I don't even know what abdication means. I just want to live my quiet life, quietly watching other people get in trouble. If anyone asked, this conversation didn't happen. Okay, thanks, witness dog. <laughs> he's, he's just gonna watch us. Oh, P is for pet, isn't it? Hang on. <laughs> this is cute till you realize this is just the game dev at his mic. Just going, rawr, rawr, you know? <laughs> like, that. that is just the developer. <laughs> it doesn't sound right. But okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, we got another adorable dog here. This is a pedogstrian. <laughs> Actually, there's just lines that try decide to try their best. You've got this. It's about a roof. Got an achievement for pet characters five times in a single session. Progress is being made. Let's talk to some of the other dogs. This is another Pedogstrian. Is the Melancholy a sad dog, or am I overthinking this? <laughs> is my hand changing every time? Yes, it is. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Why are the dogs just images? I mean, it... It does the job. <laughs> hey, ticket dog, how you doing? Oh, he changed. Hello, I have short-term memory loss. Need a boarding pass to Beachwell? Yes, I need 50 of them. You wish to live dangerously. <laughs> Good lord. Open the gate to the rest of the airport for you. Have a wonderful day. Take a dog's having a, a bit of an identity crisis. Okay, so here... Here's our flight. It, it's the second one, it, yeah? I think these tickets are all the same. It's the second one. I I don't know what gate that is. Small hill one. Looking for small hill one, which is to the left. Okay. It's a museum in here. This is photo dog. Look, look at this happy camper. Whoa. You. Look. Incredible. I would ask to take your picture. But we've all got places to go and cool things to do, man. If you need a red passport, though, you can use my photo booth. All I need is a fancy bottle of toilet water. Okay, re someone remember this. You know. For a good reason. Got a fancy bottle of toilet water right here. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm sure you'll get it next time, though. Keep rocking it, buddy. Okay, so we, we, might, we might need to get our picture taken. <laughs> Is that just... <laughs> what a sound effect. These are all just dog photos. Okay. We need to get to our gate in the dog airport. There's the airport manager. He's very handsome. Greetings. I apologize that you have to see Phobos in the state. 
We're currently undergoing major renovations. But the next time you arrive here, things should be substantially altered. We prefer to be seen as charming rather than, uh, broken. Not the typical inf information dog. Since Claudio still isn't here, I have to do. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Ah. Do dogs renovate often? In a sense. The layouts tend to remain recognizable, but the stores alone change so much. Every time I go to an airport, some old favorite is closed down. The familiar slate of storefronts has shifted, but there's some new friendly face to me. It keeps the magic of travel alive. That constant change within a familiar... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to read the dialogue and it's just... Bork! 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 It, it is a little distracting. I might, I might turn the audio down just slightly. It's a bit intense. <laughs> yeah, how, how do I find the gate for my flight? Compare the alien language around you to your boarding pass. I believe you'll soon find your path. But signs. Oh yeah, we do have those. Use that. Uh, I know where to go. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Right. <laughs> Gotta get some pets. I got an achievement for 25 times. Another for 50 times. Hang on, I'm getting achievements for this. Veteran pet or pet cats 100 times in a single session. We're not done. There could be more. Pet characters 250 times in a single session. We must continue. How high does it go? How high does it go? I need to check my achievements. Don't, I don't know how high it goes. Is there a limit? There might be. We'll pet more dogs as we go. Foam boots. Real good Papa vending machine. Uh, there's a dog in here. Cabinet dog. I'm gonna cut to the chase. I bought a lot of cabinets. By a lot, I mean every single cabinet I could find. For years, I have done this. I am a mariner drowning in a sea of cabinets. And I have created this ocean because I am Poseidon. And I don't know what this metaphor means anymore, but I'm still talking. Suffice to say, I have so many cabinets. Please save me from my cabinets. Buy a cabinet. Buy several cabinets. I'll take a cabinet. I would take more, but I'm sorry. Don't know if I can save you. <laughs> We're doing the best that we can. And that's all that we can do. Thank you. I take the cabinet before I'm tempted to get a new one. So that's a genuine cabinet. Wait, wait. How do, how do I toggle my inventory again? Okay, Q and E. Cabinet acquired, and then I have my passport. Give me a little pet. There's another pedestrian. Hungry, me too. It's just fire hydrants. Of course. Makes sense. Sorry. Gotta, I have to pet every dog. This is bartender dog. Look at this happy fella. Look at the back end. It's named that because the butts are on the back of your body. Okay. I've been told it's extremely funny. Now, I see what you're thinking. You want a drink from your own toilet bowl, don't you? Well, consider this a home away from home. A place to forget your troubles, stick your head underneath a hygienic and delicious tap of premium toilet water, and lap that sucker up. 
What can I get you, my friend? Uh, what varieties of toilet water do you recommend? Oh, wow, you basically can't go wrong with toilet water is involved. I prefer a modern bowl paired with an aged reservoir. I'm sure it tastes with a modern edge. That's the good stuff, buddy. You always drink from the bathroom, but where's the fun in that? Where's the ambience, man? That's why I like working here. I see a thousand faces, and they're all happy to see you, because you care about the same thing. Also, they're dogs. It's a valuable perspective. I really appreciate that. At least I can do, my friend. You enjoy that premium toilet water now. Is this the premium toilet water? Wait. My beverage. Do I have some? Premium water dispenser. This is this, this could out, get out of hand really quick. Let's take take some toilet water. <laughs> you can just drink it. There was a guy back here who wanted toilet water, wasn't there? I'm worried I could just fall off the edge, too. Hang on. Photo dog. Got the fancy bottle toilet water you need. Awesome. I'll put this to very good use. Enjoy the passport photos. Shine, baby. Passport acquired. And drinks toilet water confirmed. Oh, that was fancy stuff, though, you know? It was like Evian. Luxury. Luxury, that's a word. Luxury. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to pet you earlier. It's not working. Deceptive. Hello there. I don't get all the fuss around flying. Just think of it like a big sausage. Plain is the case, and we are the meat. Don't you feel relaxed now? <laughs> Pilot dock. Light isn't here yet. Gate's closed. You know when the gate will be ready? The attendants usually get here about 90 minutes before takeoff. Sometimes more, sometimes less. I'm going to wait as long as it takes. It's my job. I wait. There are ways to get to time to go fast, small coffee beds, benches, other stuff. I don't want to skip through time. Why would I? You know what comes next. Pilot Dog's got a lot of dread. Pretty anxious. Hey, hello, Camilla. Hello, have you visited a time zone before? Yep. Shut up then. Enjoy your adventures with decayed obsolescence. Wait, wait, hang on. I should keep in mind while using it. Please try not to use any time altering substances while inside the space ripple. Stuff gets weird, stuff gets dangerous. A single moment, infinity spirals out before you, and I'll be honest, too old to deal with that mess at this point. Don't use time bendy things at the same time. Otherwise, enjoy the ride. Oh, okay, so I got I gotta wait for it to be time for my flight, I think. Sorry, I didn't pet Camilla. Uh, let's talk to Flower Dog. You like flowers? I like flowers. Welcome to Borkchitz, the friendly neighborhood flower shop for all your flower shopping needs. If you want a bouquet? I would be delighted to sell you one. However, if you would simply like to smell the flowers for free, I encourage that as well. You deserve it, you know? Okay, it would be lovely. Go to flowers and let me know if I could help with anything else. You have a good one. Thank you, flower dog. Sniff the flowers. Look at these. Massive cactus. Pet the dogs, game of the year. It's all you need. That's a massive fire hydrant. Yeah, I think I need to use the time zone to make it time for my gate. Prime dog and boarding clerk dog. Pilot is drunk and ready for takeoff. Hand me your boarding pass and we'll get going. 
I'm sure they know what they're doing. Here's my board and pass. Here's my board and pass gift from the ticket counter. And come back. Your pilot is drunk. They'll wait for you. Hang on. Here, here you go. Thank you for trusting your drunk pilot. They appreciate your kindness. Their one job is to bear witness and you are helping. <laughs> Make sure you supply whatever my associate needs. And please have a wonderful flight. What you need? Oh, hang on. Thank you, clerk dog. Hey, friend. You can see my name. I can see my name. We know what's happening here. We know what's up. We know that real business. I'm bribe dog, baby. I need something to hold all my bribes. A container of some kind, a wardrobe or bitter cabinet or something. It is the cabinet from the cabinet store we found. Didn't even have to ask. The door is open. Our, now the pilot is drunk. Is the only thing. Flight doesn't leave till thirteen oh eight. So let's um let, let's advance time a little bit here. Okay, I've got I've got I've got a minute now. Should be okay. Didn't pet bribe dog. <laughs> Sorry. On the plane, look at this. Watch your lake. Sorry for staring. I wish only to observe the magnificence of the airport and its glories. I point this out, but you're looking the wrong way. Seriously? If you ever get the sense you're lost in some kind of forest. I mean, I feel very foresty sometimes. I'm really stoked about nature. I thought that was normal. I'm gonna be honest, this is really messing with my perception of self. Get lost in the forest will do that to you. That said, do you mind if we switch seats? Go right ahead, buddy. Thank you. Perhaps one day I'll stand again in the heart of the forest and feel the thrum of nature centered perfectly upon me. But for now, a window seat ain't bad. land at the airport. We're on an adventure. Here's our, here's our next airport. Oh, no. There's a lot of flights here. Okay, hang on. Ticket dog. Hello, I have short-term memory loss. Need board, board and pass to Elf Planet. I need 50. <laughs> Can I just request more? How long until the physics and like of this reality disintegrate? How many tickets will it take? Okay, thank you, ticket dog. Okay, um, I, that one's me, 1055, that's my flight. Okay, oh, and don't forget to check your pupper decks. Witness dog, like, so this is, this is where all your dogs will be cataloged. You're gonna meet a lot of dogs in your adventure, apparently. There might be more dogs here. I don't think we've met them completely yet. They might be here again. Here's another ticket dog. A dog Strielf? Wizards are insecure nerds. Pass it on. I'm a pet. There's a diving board to access more of the airport. This does not seem safe. Let's find our way to the gate. This is like being lost in an actual airport. Oh, you just sink to the bottom here. How do you can breathe underwater? Hey, barista dog, how you doing? It's called Coffee Boy. And I do the coffee stuff, got an order. <laughs> Ochenta quadruple shot, caramel macchiato, low froth, cream, double whipped. One sprinkle cinnamon, black. 
Well, that's a big order. You asked me something unprecedented and dangerous, and I've made it for you. <laughs> oh, God! Anyone asked you didn't get this from me? It's a big coffee. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks for Mister Dog. Getting Gary's mod physics a moment though. I have nothing to say. I choose to believe that this is a good thing. Pat. We'll check out. We'll check out the other shops. The buff stream. I bought some protein powder today. Like protein powder, but it works. This store here. Radical Samantha. As you can see, this is a disturbingly primary colored establishment. Because we're in the technology business. I assume you want to possess the wonder of an incredible, all powerful smartphone. Yes. Here you go. Th this might help us later. Hey, nice to see you. I'm just popping in. Please feel free to keep popping in. You've got a good face. I like it. Dog phone acquired. Can't hold the coffee because I'm not going to be able to see. Oh, the shops are still here. I get, I get a second bouquet. If I need it for whatever reason. It smelled great. What was I doing again? These dogs are just trying to find a way in the world. Okay, just the toilets. Uh, let's get up out of the swimming pool. You can see color again. Uh, we're looking for our flight. At gate six. Information dog. Oh, look at this happy fella. Pupper Dex has been updated. With the Beachville Airport, I'm Claudia, and yes, this airport is very vaporwave. Please don't ask any further questions about it. Board gate at the end of the pier, how do I use it? Have my board and pass. What board and gate? There are a bunch of dog, big green signs around the airport with gate directions. Try to take a look at those. Anything else? What's a vaporwave? Okay, I guess we're doing this. You know, sometimes you feel like learning how to juggle and stu studying classical architecture and maybe start an electronic band named Welcome Wagon. <laughs> and a few minutes later, you're like, man, I'm really glad I only did one of those three things. <laughs> For some people, that moment where they realize they almost made several bad decisions comes 12 years from now, after they made several bad decisions. That's Vaporwave. Let us never speak of it again. <laughs> Okay, thanks information, dog. Some, some personal experience here, I, I fear. Upper decks has been updated. Watcher Lake on the plane. We've met a new dog. <laughs> None of the travelators work. Okay, well, where, where do we where do we think our flight is? A uh, Panarstrian. <laughs> Doesn't keep the rain off, provides extremely little shade. It is functionally useless, but I love this hat so much. <laughs> Doing amazing. Muscled Sandy. Balls! 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 <laughs> what we sell is what I love. Tennis balls are our most popular item. Want one? Yes, please. Alright, catch. Let me know how it goes. That's a good one. Wait, sorry, Sandy. This is this is not a this is not a coffee one. Probably something civil. Take care of yourself out there. Small coffee. It's an ATM. 
You, you, you can just take as much as you want. Uh, question... How, how, do, how do I drop an item? I should have taken all this cash. You can just toss it. I don't think we need that much money. Or we don't need two of the plants either. Take one stack of dollar dollar bills. Should be enough to help us. Okay, our flight's at 10.55. That's the main thing we're going off of. In some ways, isn't the flight always here? We just got that time exists, yes. Otherwise, the attendance gets about here about 90 minutes before we take off. Okay. Pilot dog's having an existential crisis again. Uh, board and clerk do do dog and lovesick dog. I, they're gone, man. Oh, well, I'll do it without them. Every time they enter my mind, I feel all hot and bothered and sad again. It is literally just a button to approve you for entering the plane, but I'm really not feeling up to it. Sorry. I wish someone somewhere or some friend could splash some cold water in my face or something. Take me out of this funk and the cruelty of a lovely memory. Friend of Splash, you let me see what I can do. We need to get like some water or something. Here's all the pilot dogs. Uh, none of these are our plane. This this is just Rodney. This isn't a dog. <laughs> Rodney the cursed dog. Ah! I am not who you think I am. I am not the most successful Caucasian businessman known as Kevin Williamson the third with two ex-wives and four children. I see on alternate weekends. I have a dog named Rodney trapped in a man's body. Ah, help me, help me, I don't want to be a human being anymore. <laughs> How you doing, Rodney? How can I help? But buy a dog, curse me. You probably had a good reason. Don't know. All I know is my human business associate mind and it thinks I can reverse the curse if I have ingredients. Mix the right stuff in the right order and I'll be a dog again. Beautiful dog, beautiful fur, and the ability to poop wherever I want without feeling bad about it. Give me a can of scarlet bovine soda. Start the process. Maybe fix. Maybe fix me first try. Don't have any on me. My pet Rodney. Rodney scares me. Okay. All right. Let's let's go. Let's go help Rodney. We need, we need to go get some soda in the airport. Gotta be about here somewhere. Dogs tree elf. These just elf dogs is the thing. Currently in a legal battle with 486 other dogs to patent the concept of a sunbeam. It's so incredibly stupid. Who's a good boy? There's a music shop. Rama Rocky. Oh, hey, you said the word and I'll put a guitar in your hands. Fast it takes you to realize that you like the idea of playing an instrument more than actually playing it. I can, of course. Unless you too notice pain. Uh-oh. You know what? Give me a guitar. Pretty good at it. Hey, Orbo. Look at the orb. We sell orb, we are orb, and of course, orb is. Orb is. Look at orb and have it your life today, my friend. I suppose I need orb. I certainly do need orb. How observant of you. Enjoy. Orb certainly enjoys you. I got an achievement called Oh No for that. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Hey, Gorby. Nice to meet you. It's a gift shop, a space theme for. Want a souvenir? Sure. Here you go. Actual <laughs> Okay. Thanks, Gorby. 
you just hand me a gun? What do you mean? You gave me a gun, Gorby. Oh, well, that's weird. Hmm. You smell scared for some reason. You can hear your heart beating faster. It's so clear. It's almost like I'm looking inside you. Are you scared? A bit, Corby. <laughs> oh, you're doing okay otherwise. You know, <laughs> accidents happen. Not helping, Gorby. Wearing the hat, I'm not cool and depressed yet. What gives? Okay, we need we need some soda. Scarlet bovine. Squeaky salami. Regular soda. More toilet water in, in, ca in case we need this. You, you have no idea what's going to be helpful. This is photo dog again. You look incredible. Yeah, if, I, if I needed another passport, he's here. This store. Magic dog. Presto, I've got a customer. Hi there. Take a magic wand. Excellent choice, sir. We just check our stock. I'd be up still magic. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Sounds like it's dying a little bit. Exhausted, Eddie. I'm exhausted, Eddie, and oh boy, have I got deals for you. Practically giving away beds here. Literally give them away. It's fantastic. He's one of these beds will make five hours go by instantly. Do you feel rested? No. Do you feel happy? Absolutely not. But you sure did use a bed. If you're a bed, my friend, exhausted, Eddie, can't wait to give you one. I'll take a bed. Bed will never satisfy the yawn and abyss. I'm exhausted, Eddie, and I approve this message. Bed get. Don't know if this will be useful yet. Here's his cabinet dog. His cabinet store. Friendly business dog. Uh, finally, a dog we can trust. Look at the toilet paper and banana store. Ask why we sell those two things? I'll tell you. They always ask. I'll, I'll take a banana. Sorry, we don't have bananas. They're all on display. Got some toilet paper? My dear friend. I'd be delighted to give you some toilet paper. Don't trust bribe dog. Not particularly, no. It's up to something. Anxious dog. Listen. I'll do anything you ask. Just don't tell my boss I peed on the headphone. <laughs> okay, uh, you sell music? Oh, yes. Look at the cryptic karaoke. It's the only supernaturally themed record shop that I know of. This selection is currently entirely Mothman themed. I'm hoping to get in stock of... Stock of slide rock bolter albums. Yeah. Very niche stuff. The kids love it. It's like a Mothman album. Fantastic. Mothman appreciates your support. He sure can play. It's the flower store. Where this guy go? Texas Dog. Hello and welcome to High Stakes, named after a delightful mascot, Roger. You can see hanging from a very thin thread directly above us. Yes, it is clear Roger is very much alive. I'm from New Jersey. How can I help you? Aren't you from Texas? Nope. I'm from South Dakota. What's, what's going on with Roger? Roger's a bovine entrepreneur and performance artist. One day, he looked in the mirror and realized that he was made of meat. We were all made of meat. Also, he realized that if he dangled himself from the ceiling of a nice restaurant slash squeaky toy supplier, he'd call the business high stakes. The rest is history. I'll take a squeaky toy. Go Brooklyn! This is, this is more squeaky salami. I, th I think I already have some squeaky salami in here somewhere. Yeah, I do. 
Thank you, though. We still have to find our flight. Bet me a dollar that I can bet, can't bench something, I will win and then eat the dollar. That's just how it works. Okay, uh, we, we, we really need to find our plane. Hang on. 10.55. Pretty early in the day. We, we, need, we need to probably advance some time. Is the lamp dog? Glasses up. Welcome to the light show. You strike me as a chandelier type of guy. Is that about right? I've enjoyed my share of chandeliers. As have I. Things about chandeliers. They're a public mess. More humans died from tragic chandelier incidents every year that shark attacks, plane crashes, and slipping on banana peels combined. Chandeliers might have destroyed the human race. We don't know. The only reason that chandelier hangs over our heads as we speak is to tempt fate. Trying to sell me a murder weapon. Safety dog asks no. Need five of them. There's such a thing as too many lamps. They're so bright. They're so bright. My eyes. Oh no, I've turned on Discord light mode. Like that. I've employed discount. What am I supposed to spend on? I can't wear anything here. I'll take one shirt, pair of shoes, whatever you're selling. You sell shoes, the last delicacy, the good stuff. Take one of the good stuff. Thank you. It's so fucking bright. This umbrella store as well. Tall umbrella. Oh, you're tall. I bet you get rained on a lot with your head and all, head all in the sky like that. What, an umbrella? Yes. <laughs> the physics are so violent. Gotta be real careful with the gun. That that one scares me every time I take it out. David Bonnie. Hi there, I'm just looking at his poster. How's your day been so far? Uh can't complain. Oh, that's nice. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Hey, I need to get off world. Sorry to be abrupt. Each well is nice, but it's just a giant beach. Only one ball, it's too big to even play with. It's a nightmare for so many reasons. The big question to ask, we just met each other, but can you get me a red passport? I'll do it myself, a faux dog won't let me inside after I said his glasses look silly. I've got it. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Let me help you. Thank you, thank you. Just changed my life. Like an illegal bone, please let me know. I'm happy to share. Hope we see each other again. I need a bone. Didn't even ask the bone was legal when you found it. Something vibrates inside of your skull. Probably is a way to translate this when you read enough of the language. I do not know enough currently. Yeah, what? I'm, I'm supposed to find Krista on Beachwell, right? Did anyone see her? Hey Camilla, how you doing? We gotta get to 10.55. Why do so many illegal things? I mean, illegal for a dog is very different. What we consider illegal. Like, you know, like, the good ham is, like, illegal for dogs. It's like, hang on, you can't be having that now. This is Christmas or something. Chocolate is illegal for dogs, yeah. Can you tell us the lore of this game? No. No, I cannot. Your guess is as good as mine. But we're figuring it out. Okay. Alright, um... Where, where is Krista? I've gotten another plane ticket, but 
I thought she said she'd be on Beachwell. Oh, here's the pupper decks, the main entries, right. Infamous face is stranded in the vacation center of the universe. If a bunny needs a password to get off Beachwell, fortunately he can't get the password himself because he accidentally insulted photo dog. Himself don't insult photo dog. These are like your quests. Supposed to reconnect in the Beachwell Airport on the main concourse. I need to help the dog over here though too. I want it soda. Oh wait. It was this soda, yeah? Let's go let's go help Rodney. Your boarding pass or a passport. I might need to go get another passport, won't I? Might need to pick up an extra. Is that one my gate, ultimately? Oh, the time is different. Hey, Rodney, here you go. You got, you got the soda? Okay, let's try the elixir. Ah! Oh. Ah! Okay, it didn't work, but we learned something valuable in the process. Because a single energy drink will not remove a witch's curse. Gonna have to do some flying res flying search. The next ingredient we need. In the meantime, if you want office supplies, we'd be happy to give you some from my nest. Every day I wake up in a nest of assorted office supplies I did not purchase or want. It is the weirdest and most terrifying of this curse's side effects. Thanks for the help, bro. Have you got a photocopier? Sweet. That'll help us. See, before you might appear to be someone just working a mundane office job. However, I do have hobbies. I am a seeker, constantly looking for the next horizon broadening experience. As a result, I wish to become magic. If you help me become magic, I'll let you board your flight. Dang, I have, I have, I have a magic wand. Oh, this is anticlimactic. You've opened a door into a new plane of existence for me, and yet, I kinda just want to nap for a while. Weird. Anyway, a promise is a promise. You have my approval to board. Look at your flight, and don't forget to seek new things yourself. But, I, I don't I don't even think this is my flight. All the pilots are drunk. He's preparing to go to Bristol. <laughs> This is this is uh, this is like just me in the airport tomorrow, trying to get out of Dublin and find my way. It's changed somewhat. Wait, wait, is that the main concourse up there? We think. I have to find Krista. Come on down. You must play this game before going on your flight, otherwise you'll you'll miss it if you don't beat it in time. The stakes are high. Cannot get the Bristol. Just use the gun, but it doesn't do anything. Is Krista here? I don't think she is. There's still all that area over there. Here's the tickets. Bro is never making his flight. I'm, I'm tr I, I have another... Why did this catch on fire? Okay, I mean, I, I, I could just get a new one. Okay, several of the board and passes have spontaneously combusted. I think if you're late, you miss the flight. Oh no. Oh, the coffee has made me fast now. Oh god. Shouldn't have drunk the coffee. Okay, sh should I just head for my next plane? 
Probably. I've been slowed down now. I'm having a crash. We talked to this dog already. Yeah. Find Krista. I... I don't know where she is. Now we've got, like, coffee vision for, like, the rest of the level. Everything, everything's a bit feverish. Hey, buddy, you probably wonder why you're boarding past it. Igloos and fun little whatnots don't stick around when you leave the airport, huh? When you turn around or when you blink. As a me, sorry about that. Name's Jander Dog, my parents are very literal. So that's up. I'll take care now. Oh, it's a suitcase store. It's grown old dog. I hate briefcases. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. The snappy buckles and fiddly locks and rough handles and weird materials I put on the outside that get messed up as soon as you use them. Come on, man, what's even up with that? Love customers, though. Look at the briefcase outlet. I look for my feelings about briefcases, and I'm meant to continue distributing them into the world against my better judgment. So I cannot condone this action. Yes. As long as you know. I hope you do know. Thank you for the suitcase. Maybe you have a quest log. Wait, wait, where is the quest log again? Is it the pupper decks? Mainly just trying to find Krista still. Orny Car, hi, I sell ice cones which are made of a tiny flavored piece of frozen water to make your tongue cold and your brain happy. Want one? Sure thing. Thank you. Do I have a quest log outside of, um, outside of the pupper decks? The pupper decks is the only thing I can see. I just can't see Krista anywhere. I don't know where she's gone. Pupper decks is your quest log. I, I mean, she said she'd meet us on the main concourse, but she's not here. You just passed her, did I? Oh shit, there she is, right. Oh, it's hard to, it's hard to spot her. You made it and your memory seems fully attacked now, congratulations. Eyes oh, is a weary acceptance and I appreciate and empathize with greatly. Glad you enjoy my existential terror. I've been thinking about us missing each other. I can't use a phone because of security around the big project. Iron Dog's orders, you know how it is. Always scared that one day I'm going to show up to a meeting too late. We won't be there and we'll never find each other again. Big universe. Oh, from an existential view, we're destined to miss each other at some point. There's no use in worrying about it. Way to burst your bubble. But the existential view ain't comforting. <laughs> I'm not sure it's true either. Pain isn't inevitable. Tragedy isn't guaranteed. We take that for granted. I think we rob ourselves of the ability to live. It's a wonder any of this works. That we're engaged. God, how did that happen? My job, it feels like I'm always the one leaving. I don't know, maybe it's easier for you. We woke up. Yeah, I do. Stayed for two weeks. Woke up surrounded by dogs. Apparently there were aliens at some point as well. We missed that part. What about it? In a world that operates on entirely different rules from the ones we used to, we still found lives to live. But I stayed, you know. I mean, I think you're cute, but I could do without a relationship. I'm fulfilled. Dogs provide free therapy, which is rad. The tipping point for me is that we woke up at the point in time where humans basically didn't exist anymore. You didn't take our relationship for granted. You didn't try to repopulate the galaxy. It, you didn't take for granted that I'd stay. You just wanted me to. You knew I liked you, but we became literally the only humans alive. You were still trying to win my heart. That's when I knew I loved you. I didn't know that. 
didn't tell you. Didn't want you to get a big head about it. But we go to the Marinara Trench next. That that does say Marinara Trent Trench, doesn't it? <laughs> Marinara Trench. We can use a change of pace. All right, maybe at the Marinara Trench in Terminal Two. Love you, weirdo. Love you too, weirdo. Okay, wait. So we gotta. Wh which which one's Terminal Two? Hang on. Because I don't I don't even know if this is if this is the right ticket. Lost in the airport. The ticket seems to be for Terminal 3. There's the sphere shop. You still need a passport. Oh, I'm gonna have to get another one, aren't I? Yep. And what did I need for the... What did I need for, like, the passport again? Was it a cabinet? Oh, it's water. Artisan toilet water. Okay. Let me let me go see if I can find a photo dog. Uh, it's not that one. Oh god, it's like a real airport. I'm actually so lost. <laughs> it's toilet paper he wants now. Okay, I do I do have some toilet paper in here somewhere. This this one's just a maze. It's Frederick. Oh, hey, you got through the maze. That's neat. Got a book to get back to, but I'm happy to help. If there's anything I can help with. Coolest book you have. Pretty easy pick. It's the book I'm reading right now. I, it makes copies of itself when I'm not looking. Probably a bad thing, I assume. But be kind of sort of infected with dark magic. Watch out for that, okay? Sure. I'll, I'll I'll take it. Here's photo dog. Yeah, wait, 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 let me find your toilet paper. Oh, he wants a lamp now. Hang on. Let me get my passport. Okay, how, how are we getting to Terminal 2? Hey, David. Where even is Terminal 2? Is, is this the right ticket? I'm worried I'll just get on a plane and, like, not find Krista. Oh, that was me on the soda machine, wasn't it? Yeah, that's why it's all here. It said Terminal 2 in the next airport. <laughs> You're gonna get the bad ending, you know? You just, you just never find Krista. Is it this terminal? We passed a check for one of the passengers down here. Twelve fifty-seven, eleven twenty-one. I mean, I, I don't think I have the right ticket for this. Can I just get on the plane? <laughs> Thumbs up. It's pretty cool. This is awful though. I'm a dog. I'm not supposed to have deadlines or etc. Dread or the ability to operate a photocopier. I'm not supposed to have memories of times I was slightly rude to others that keep me up at night and make me question whether or not I'm a good person. I'm not even supposed to be a person. My life is living hell because I used to be a dog, and I can remember being a dog, and I'm not a dog anymore. It's very weird to explain to a human being, but dear God, your life sucks. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I get it, and I respect your hatred of human consciousness. No, it's too late for you, but please, promise me that you won't let anyone else follow my footsteps. 
in the world being a human man sucks and no one should ever do it. I promise. Oh, Jesus. Can I just get on this plane? With the, the Borden clerk talk? I mean, he, he, he seems to know where we're going. Try the book. No, he just, he's just spawning more photocopiers into the world. It's supposed to be Terminal 2. But th that's, that's not a terminal. I don't know how to access another terminal. Like, presumably it's here somewhere. Can I fall? Oh, no. Okay. Ticket dog, do you know where I'm going? <laughs> you need a ticket to Uranus. Yes, 50. Thank you. Ticket Dog gives you the updated ticket. Okay. I mean, maybe this will work for the gate over here? That's the funny planet it is. It's true. A lot of folks trot around the world, trot around like the world's gonna stay the same forever, not me, I've learned better. There's a storm a coming. I need help to get supplies, need an umbrella. You can bring me what I greatly appreciate it. Okay, hang on, wait, he's preparing for the end times. Let's, let's help out Prepper Dog. Right sturdy umbrella for the end of all things. Thank you, maybe for one night this old dog can rest easy again. We help, we help Prepper Dog. This, this is apparently our plane. Um. The, ga the gate's not ready. I could just get on this plane and hope for the best. Don't have the right board and pass. No, this is not gonna let me on. I need a board and pass for 1121 to get on this plane. Is there anything? Can I. No, the garbage can just deletes whatever you're holding. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me, let me go back to the ticket desk. Uh, what, what time was that flight at again? What ticket do I need? Just jump off. I don't think that's gonna solve anything. 1121. Right, hang on, let's, let's talk to a different ticket dog. <laughs> Does anyone see the right ticket? That's... <laughs> 11.21, it's in there. Okay, hang on. There we go. Let's make our way on over. It's a different destination every time you talk to the dog. But Krista will understand, right? It's difficult to get tickets in this world. She'll just understand that we're on our way somewhere. We'll eventually, like, get the, to the right place. I do have the right board and pass. This is the right one. Oh no, it needs the other symbol. <laughs> no. Uh, 
Yeah, we're, go we're, go we're gonna need some uh, more boarding passes. Uh, 11.21 with a 5. Does, does anyone see it? That's the Phobos. That's Uranus. This is the Marinara Trench. This is the right one. Does anyone see the, the correct ticket? It's the same one I had. So, there's so many tickets. What if I just ask him to hand me one? He's not handing me the right ticket. <laughs> I need the right one. It asked me 1121. He's just handing me whatever ticket takes his fancy. It's gotta be somewhere in here. 11.21 with a 5. Put down these other tickets. So much shit in my inventory. How do I even unpack this at this point? Right, can I set fire to the tickets? 17 with a 3. Oh, it's not quite. You've so messed this up. <laughs> the only one I can get is 1121 with a 7. Okay, well, it's, it's got to be one of these tickets. That, that, not that one. Uh, there, there could just be another flight point. Either of these tickets will take me to where I need to go. So let me let me check the gates over here. You're going to break Chris's heart. I'm tr I'm trying my best. It's so hard to find your way in this airport. Safety dog. I had a friend to sit behind this cool boot all day and keep keep the help keep the airport safe. I need dangerous or anything dangerous or weird while you explore and bring it back to me and I'll give you a cool reward. And like turn in today. Nothing for now, but maybe later. Can I give him the bone? I'll turn something in. Let me give you this quick once over. You sly dog. Enjoy your reward and come back anytime. Honorary cat? Hey, I just became an honorary cat. I'm a cat girl now. It's the greatest day of my life. I understand this feeling keenly. <laughs> So I've been working on my, uh, cat, cat scent. Mind to tell me what you think of it? I'd love that. It's taking a lot of work, so even if it's bad, please don't laugh, okay? Okay. Okay. Ahem. The brown fox jumps over the lazy dog who was napping and probably dreaming about something delicious. The cat nearby chose not to get involved. Snitches get scritches, etc. So, what do you think? That was wonderful. Thank you, I really have been working hard on it. I want to take the title that was entrusted to me seriously. You really helped me out even though you didn't have to. I've become an honorary cat, I got a unique ball to of yarn. It's simple of trust, it's pretty important. I'll give you some of my yarn. You're awesome, I think you deserve it. You need to make sure I only give it to someone good. It hurts, hurt a lot of folks if I mess this up. Just to make sure, you a good person. 
Yes. Ability is lovely. I appreciate a clear answer though, please. Yes. Feels nice finding someone with a trust like this. These are bolstered by fate and good people and doing great things. No, thank you. Amazing. Yeah, we, we, we gotta find... We have to find a plane we can get on. This one, this one's gone now. Balderdash, the flight to Parada left us behind. Balderdash and fiddlesticks. Language. My sincere apologies, I'm very upset and desperately did a nap. I'll only have to wait for another flight. A few minutes until this case is reassigned for another flight. I shall allow myself to feel pathetic for a few minutes and then get back to it. Thank you for your companionship, human friend person. Eleven twenty-one. God, we don't have the right ticket. Gotta check the other gates. It wasn't that one. It's so hard to find where we need to be. That was two right there. Try reading the signs. No, but I I have a ticket for a specific flight to the Marinara Trench. So like I I just need to get somewhere where this flight is. No, it's not that. It's so close. It's this one. A pill dog. A deeply unfortunate name. Let me make that very clear up front. However, the plane does need a restock of medical supplies in pill form. Bring we bring some, and we can take off. Do I have pills? There's so much stuff. I don't think I have pills. I have a photocopier. Oh no, how do... how do I get medicine? Okay, there's a pharmacy there. Maybe they have it. I gotta hurry or I'm gonna miss the plane. Oh no, it's No, it's already gone. God damn you, pill dog. Okay, get, get some medicine for future reference. Doctor dog, MD. Hey, I'm a dog. If you're horribly injured, deadly sick, or just a little under the weather, I'll be giving you medical attention. Dogs give you medical attention. Settle down, buddy. I save lives here. If you hit a point where you'd like to save, I'd be happy to help. What do you need today? Okay, give, me, give, me, give me some medicine. It's like you feel on a scale from one to eight extremely large bottles of pills. Eight. Got very sick. He's likely I'm being used. Need anything else? Thanks, bud. Uh, we 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 can save the game too. Veteran dog by Bones Eight Kid. Probably from fighting in the wars. Which wars, old timer? All of them. Okay, there was one more I missed, but that's just because I overslept and everyone in my platoon forgot to turn on their alarm. That was a sleep war, so I guess we won that one either way. For any day, Jake Zero, I was piloted a 30,000 pound cybernetically enhanced super mech. Back into the mainframe that lies beneath all things to destroy the evil that haunts our soft, vulnerable reality takes a grim toll. <laughs> these, these, these dogs have really been through some shit. I think about going to restaurant management. What do you call your restaurant? 30,000 pounds cybernetically enhanced super mech. And sons. Then they're thinking about my restaurant, the end of all things. I need I need I need to go get another board and pass. Uh for the Marinara trench. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm I'm gonna need some more tickets. I'm gonna need some more. This is such a fucking mess. Is that right? Uh, 
Eleven twenty-eight. Do do we see that plane? Let me let me let me go this way. Check over here. Tire fuel potato physics eat your heart out. Wait, okay, this is it. This is it. Alright. Pill dog is back. Okay. Pill dog, please let please let us board the plane. By approval of the board, this medicine should restock our emergency supplies for the next while easily. Maybe we could share some. Little dog, no. Hang on, let me let me go through my inventory. Make sure you supply whatever my associate needs, and please have a wonderful flight. And we're off to the marinara trench. Okay, man, thank you for the two hundred bits. Thank you, Nico. Thank you as well. What? Why is the pilot here? Hello. This is your pilot speaking. I'm a duck. If you're here, who's flying the plane? Shh. Shh. Shush. Shh. Oh my god. Ain't no one flying this plane. Doesn't need a pilot. Just needs souls. Buddy. Friend. You wanna hear about souls? You know, I do. When I was in pilot school, they told us how many souls were on the plane. 50 souls. 100 souls. 200 souls. But they left shoveling out. They left me out, buddy. I've been seen too much, buddy. Plane won't let me leave. Plane flies on its own terms. Where we're going. When we get there, I won't have a soul. I won't need one. There's nothing left to say. <laughs> oh god. What? Anyway. Thank you for flying with us. Please enjoy your flight. Ah! <laughs> you really need to stop flying planes. Not at the airport. Dog's in trouble. Entered the airport known as the Marinara Trench. We're here. We made it. Oh god. Well, it is as described. How you doing? The only gain you'll regret not getting is the one that governs the amount of love you can hold in your heart, bro. Make your heart the strongest muscle, bro. All we can do for each other. We have to find Krista. There's no point in even getting a ticket yet until we know where we're going. This is just gonna run out, so let's let's look for Krista. Where'd you say she would be? Me at the Marinara Trench next in Terminal Two. I have to take a tram. And an archaeologist. Hello, I'm just marveled at this relic of the old world. So the machines are relic. Certainly. The old saying goes, first there were humans, then there were aliens, then there were dogs. In this scenario, I'm of course one of the aforementioned dogs. You can tell it's a relic. The Ryland's vending machines, one of the few pieces of English language imagery left in the galaxy. Dead civilization finds continued re relevance in modern society. How delightful. I'm a dead civilization. Yep. Have an axe, kid. And keep axing questions. The vending machines scare me a little. See, if the fish is be too bad, it looks so comfortable down there in the water. Ah, uh, one can dream. Okay, we're, we're looking for Krista. It's the void shop. It's 
the umbrella store. We go, dog. I worry about the pilots a lot. Is photo dog? Oh, here's the skateboard dog shop. Chad Shakespeare. Pursuit, my dude, and welcome. Let thy eyes roam across the bodacious expanse of my boards and let me know how I can help. One skateboard, my good dog. Huzzah, a skateboard for my fantastic friend. Please remember to wear knee pads. I would not wish for thy rad buttocks to be wounded. Thanks, Chad Shakespeare. It'll be so fluffy, but it's stacking suspicious. There's safety dogs. Safety dogs at most of the airports. There's nothing for you right now, safety dog. Instruction dog. Sir, I'm a dog with a simple dream. I want to get behind that daggone waterfall. I have basic construction equipment. I have some rickety safety barriers. I've got a can-do attitude the ability to speed away from anyone who asks me for a permit. I'm prepared for industrial engineering. Join me in my quest to find out what the heck is behind that waterfall like a cool person. I'm in. No, which is why I asked. Surprised how many folks are not cool with incredibly rad and regulated construction projects. We need lumber. I've got scaffold equipment. We need the core build materials. We need some planks and we'll be in business. I have a skateboard. The construction lumber. Okay, let's look for the lumber store. Barista dog again. Got to get bag insurance. I don't have any bags. It feels like a missed opportunity. Need the lumber store. Oh, this is a different doctor dog. Look at him go. If you wash your hands and lick yourself thoroughly, we shouldn't have much reason to see each other. Save lives here. If you hit a point where you'd like to save, I'd be happy to help. Heal. Chop a tree with the axe. Have we seen a tree? There's only cactus. Wait a minute, you're not a dog. Furious artist. Can you believe that you get banned from a gallery just for destroying the other artwork? Charlatans. Charlatans and cheats. They're all mindless hacks! Destruction is the art. Doesn't sound like there's a way I can help. Dogs will let me back into another event like fools! Means I have an opportunity to exact my revenge. I'm gonna become stinky. <laughs> it transform into something so stinky that my hygiene overshadows the entire event. Pull this off, I will watch someone vomit. I will like it. Transformation requires help, unfortunately. That's why we're talking. I was supposed to make you stinky. You throw something filthy at me like your dreams of a quiet suburban life. <laughs> Might not cause enough of a stink to get revenge on any dog critics, but the, the thought would make me sick. Do I have anything smelly? I'm a photocopier. I've, I've whatever this is. That's, that, that's the yarn. Don't really have anything smelly. I know. Uh, a chunk of marinara flavored ice, a bit of blood, a speck of strawberry? Who knows? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's not like surprises. Any food that stands for a belief in surprise or that your strawberry tree is probably not flavored with blood. It's a noble ice cone. Oh, there's the tram. I think I saw it. That's where we need to go, isn't it? This is the void store. No, we need we need to get on over here. Wait for the next one. Long time ago, Brave Soul said, "What if blonde, but only a little?" Thus, were frosted tips born. <laughs> Son, you were part of a glorious civilization. Don't you ever forget it. Here's the hat store. That's magic, dog. It's a cabinet store. Phone store. Just seeing if there's anything new. We need to get to terminal two. Which I think is this way. Tram dog Charlie. 
You don't want to get on this tram, buddy. You do. Knowledge is power, buddy. Ain't got knowledge, ain't got power. And power is the word ow in it, because knowledge hurts. Listen, you throw something while you're on this tram, it'll fly through the friggin' window. Jump while you're inside this thing, it'll launch you to the nearest ocean. This is dangerous, no one should use this, no one should have this. Frankly, I'm surprised someone managed to finish building this without getting struck down for their hubris. But I... Uh, I gotta go! We're on, we're on our magical dog venture. Terminal 2. Chris, it should be over here. I do kind of want to jump, but the game told me not to. Game told me not to. Gotta be careful there. We will be jettisoned. Alright, is there anything new for shops? Bookstore, suitcase store. Did we get clothes? Yeah, we did. He's, he sold us shoes. What an inconspicuous looking store here. Make our way over. I have a flight tomorrow, is this what I should be expecting? Probably. This is, this is a pretty accurate depiction of getting lost in an airport. There's janitor dog. Uh, is there a concourse where Krista might be? Ticket dogs are over here. I think she's, she might be over here. Look at this dude. You're a human, right? You ever look at your hands and wish you had like 14 of them? No, I don't- I don't see Krista. Can't call Dog Drusil the Elf Planet forever, right? Like, they have to use the actual name at some point, right? Dear God, he's blind. Wait, no! Wait, where is she? She was near the glass building thing. Leaning on a rail and I just walked past her again, didn't I? <laughs> Where is she? The star above her head! <laughs> oh, they really tried to make it easy. I just zoomed past her. She just watched me, like, she just watched me, like, walk up this way, and it's like, oh, I wonder where he went. Yo, where have you been? I, I missed a couple flights. Happens to be all the time. It's the nice thing dogs don't care about rescheduling fees, huh? Or money. A little terrified just how much dogs don't care about money. Honestly, I'm coming around to a Viva little revolution. I'm doing a lot of batch tests in the lab right now. Give me time to think. Also, time to finally show up to a meeting early. Having a bit of a wild idea. You consider making a friend? You have in mind. Well, I know most dogs I talk to are kind of my friend by default. And that's nice, but it's transient too. It's important to have friendships that go beyond a smile. So I was gonna suggest that you, uh, what if you became friends with Cage Dog? Cage Dog? The dog who loves cages? There are, I can understand the objections. I was the one who said you should be. Whoop, I clicked a little too fast. But before he locked us into a cage, he seemed like a pretty cool guy. No, no, he's deeper than a lot of the dogs we meet. You also have an on-again, off-again friendship rivalry thing going on. Seems like it has real potential. A frivalry, if you will. I already betrayed you once. What's the worst that could happen? He does it again? I promise to at least give it some consideration. Alright, for you. Thank you, last Eric Cage dog, the dog who loves cages, was in Patsville. Do with that information what you will. That's for our next meeting spot. What do, you, what do you say to finding our way back to Beachwell? I want to get my tan on before work speeds up again. Fantastic. Love you, weirdo. Okay, 
Okay, Chris Chris is on our way to the beach, Phil. We should go to like whatever this block inconspicuous block is. I need to go to Patsville. He does make a killer Parmesan chicken, yep. So we, we, we should probably become friends with him. I don't think I can get in this block. This is just here. Okay, it's supposed. It's. I see what it is. You're supposed to like hop through it. Okay, should we go find Krista or should we go find this new one? I've met some more characters. I don't have any lumber or anything to make the furious artist stinky. Where are we thinking, gang? This is Patsville. This is Uranus. We don't we don't need to go there. This is Elf Planet. I think we go to Patsville and maybe find the cage dog. Thank you for the tickets. Okay. Um What what time is it now? 3:42. So, let's get this one at gate number 1. Which is this way. We need to explore Uranus. We'll come back to it eventually. Now we need to find our way. I that that's the other terminal. Uh, <laughs> it said it was this way, but I'm not seeing it. Let me let me just loop around. It's construction dog. Do not trust the dog signs. It, it's just really hard to find your way. It's not. It's not on the board. He may be illiterate. Well, the signs are literally written in an alien language. In my defense. We're looking for it. I think I might have to get the tram. It just says down. <laughs> Is that right? Somehow it's taking us back here. There, there might, there may be a correct terminal here. It's the wrong terminal one. It just said go. It was the same. Just go backwards. Maybe not down. But it is, it is kind of saying just go down. That's <laughs> never read an airport sign in his life. The problem is there's no other sign here. It says it's this way. I'm gonna miss my flight by the time <laughs> I find this. I just go to Terminal 2 and check it? We might as well. Let's get the tram.
This is way too real. Cause it's not even on this sign. Okay, we'll go. Let's have a look. Just read the signs. Now. I am reading the signs. The signs are why we don't know where it is. And you're supposed to leave three hours for international flights. You irresponsible entity. Yeah, I've got I've got like ten minutes to make my plane. I'm just running through the airport. Okay, one is left. Back over here. Gotta go all the way over there again. And then it's just, it's, the signs just came up again. It's not in the signs anymore. Where'd it go? It's just gone. It's still on the board. I'm I'm running out of time. So lost. Oh, it's Willy Duck. <laughs> well, hello, I Willy Duck, a purveyor of sweet treats, emissary of adventure, and sitter of sins. Got a golden ticket to adventure. I made a real goal. Yes, it is wildly expensive. Shouldn't be giving them out so often, but I'm so lonely all the time. It leads to a variety of poor choices. I like a golden ticket. You hold a golden ticket. Please take care of it. Bye, please come back when you can. But that, that, that's not the time on it, but we have that. Still have to find our flight. It's not this. Uh, it's not this. Oh, it's gate number two. No. Gate number two doesn't mean that the next one's even gate number one. It was the gate number one, but now it's different one. That's gate number four. Dare dog. I bet you can't pet me. Oh. In fact, I dare you to pet me. If you already pet me, I dare you to do it again. Of course, you could always say no if you're a big old chicken. Oh, chicken. Pet me and prove it. Yeah, I'm a genius. It's the little hug vacuum getting all the pets. Uh, shout out to Can You Pet the Dog Twitter. I believe that actually is their their avatar. This is the Twitter account which reviews games based on whether you can or cannot pet the dog. Give a flight, sir. I'm trying to find it. Oh, thank God. Passport clerk dog. I, I, I gotta exchange another passport. Now let, me, let me get the right board and pass and quickly. Okay. We're ready. We're gonna need to get another passport at the at the next stop. Maybe. Oh, Willy Darko has come on the flight with us this time. You're here, my candy plane. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you, and you can't escape. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Oh god, loneliness has turned me into a monster. You trapped me on your candy plane. 
the system, but just suppose makes it worse. New task to be a protocol goes into effect, utilizing a great deal of time and effort to divert their flight. Instead of boarding a Lufa Airlines flights, the dog or something, they'd end up on my candy plane next to me. The first person to talk to me in a very long time. Couldn't have brought you here without asking. I'm so sorry. Uh, what happens now? I'll drop you off where you want to go. Talk to me out in the world, this will happen again. I don't control the system anymore. It's complicated, and honestly, it scares me quite a bit. I'll always make sure you get home, I promise. Again, I'm so sorry. Only this is hard, but you should never force friendship. I'm glad you know that, Willie. Should have known sooner. Kind of obvious, but thank you. He seems to have come around quite quickly from kidnapping us. He's pretty chill. Okay, we're now in Patsville. See, in the case of who farted, let me tell you, it's not going well. <laughs> okay, we're looking, we're looking for Cage Dog, is it? And we're looking also for like some lumber and stuff. Phone store. I, I could use another uh, umbrella. Thank you. That's the suitcase store. I think that's the orb store. That's a, that's a second orb store. Where where is Cage Dog? The only thing that understands me is the rain. It is wet, previously pro productive, and spiraling downwards at an incredibly fast rate. Like back alleys here. Oh, Dave. David's here again. Oh, again, as you can see, I moved to the big city. Got a whole new life here. Even learned there might be a place nearby where I can learn to sing. I've always wanted to do that. Let me patch things up with Photo Dog. I had a small chat when I got here. Thought it was only right to return the passport once I was done with it. it really wasn't really mine after all. Did he respect that I was able to quote work outside of the sight of God and Dog? We were friends again. Not sure whether that makes me glad or terrifies me. That's been our favorite you already did so much for me, but I always wanted to make a space my own. Didn't have many chances when I was a puppy. My parents did the best they could. Got this chance to defy what my life is gonna be, and the one thing I need I want is a big chair. Okay. We need, we need to find a chair shop. Makes sense, David. I'll start looking around. Keep an eye out for the chair store. It's harder to tell where the flights are here. Anyone seen Cage Dog? It's the time chamber. Why is there asbestos rising from the sewers? Don't worry about it. That. Absolutely a dog. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be a dog. Yo, nice eternal night we're having, huh? Brings you to the park. Just finished a construction job on the far side of the planet. I had to sit here and people watch. Well, Papa watch. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, you look like a person who appreciates a good set of tools. Got some spare tools, but I don't have his patience. I want to feel a new feeling. This time in my life, I want to feel confused. If you enable that to say, I'll share my hammers with you. Seriously, these are beautiful hammers too. You will not be disappointed. Just want me to chuck something confused in your direction. I'm gonna get a jump on myself with the element of surprise. See if it works. Um. Tar. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of confusing things out there. It needs to be existentially terrifying. You want a gun? It's not confusion. Hard to tell what they what they want.
cut down the trees. Can I do that? I don't think you can. I need to just go to like the lumber store at some point. Information dogs here to help us ever. We're doing well in the pupper decks. We've, we've, we've met a few of them. Let me, let me get to the stores. Throw the axe. I don't think it works. He's slammy on the Furious Artist. Oh, that, that's actually a good idea, isn't it? That might be what he wants. Just a lot of ball shops. Uh, here's the lamp store. We, 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 we don't have any lamps left. Haven't had a cabinet in a while. Thank you. Just in case we need it. It's photo dog. You should probably see, um... About getting a new passport. All I need is a lamp. Here we go. I'm gonna get a few extra passports. Here we go. Pretend to need that one. Groundbreaking artist. Used to be the toast of the town. Sculptures, multimedia. You name it, every medium I touched, I managed to produce something fresh and interesting. This was a splash when I started. When people look at my art now, they just say, Cool, I guess. Probably don't mean it that way. Unexpectedly brutal passive aggression come from a dog. But attention spans, you get it. Won't lie to it's heartbreaking. I'm a better artist than I ever have been. I'm just not a new one. How do you cope? Not terribly well. I grip my teeth and purr my thanks and go back to work. Again, I'm nearly certain they don't mean anything negative. I'm just known. I'm not excited anymore. Anyway, I want to find a healthy outlet to deal with all these negative feelings. So, I'm going to blow something up. Ah, oh, this, is, this, this is what I do <laughs> when I have a stressful day. Let me just boot up city skylines and see some other people suffer a while. Nothing that would endanger anyone. No loss of property, wreckage, or impacted infrastructure. Just a little explosion for me. They produce a large, loud, cathartic boom will do. I bring me one. I'll give you a cool spray paint color if you do. Explosion therapy. Okay, we need we need like the bomb shop. I need a big chair still too. Jimmy Donuts. I sell donuts with my destiny. What can I get you? Oh man, I love donuts. It's not a donut. It's never a donut. Donut is the masquerade villain parade inside of donut skin. Donut is immediate ochre universal concept. I will not brook its foul presence. Donuts it is. A good head on your shoulders. Carried his lesson well. Thank you. So many stores. Did anyone see a bomb in any of the shops? Need an explosive device. Just fly up here. The gun. I, d I don't think the gun is gonna do it. Can't remember what we got from the gift shop. We didn't find Cage Dog either, did we? He's supposed to be here. Go up here. I don't know if this helps me. 
There's a there's there's dogs up on the on the bypass there. Hang on. Does that come down? Is there another way up? Can't say bomb in the airport, Dan. Excuse me, I'm looking for a small explosive device before I get my flight. You know, just cheeky crate of fireworks, if you will. Do it for the kids later. It's no drain closer. Leave him to it. Up we go. Cage dog might be here somewhere. Yeah, that, that sends you pretty quick. <laughs> I just gotta run back, unfortunately. I streamed this once and the chat was mostly just what? <laughs> I mean, it does, it does summarize the experience quite well, in fairness. Oh, I probably, I probably need some more money. In case a dog wants dollar dollar bills. Uh, I'm not, I'm still not seeing cage dog anywhere. Has anyone spotted him? How many how many people have played this game? <laughs> this is not many, I, I, if I had to guess. I get like a slight bit feeling of falling whenever I do that as well, like IRL. I don't know why that sets it off. I feel like I'm in like VR chat and just jumping down the world. TV play Lethal Company? Yeah, th th there's a video of that already on the channel. I already have. Absolutely a dog. Couldn't find like a big chair anywhere too. Uh, did we find a ticket desk? Need to get. We're gonna need to leave this planet, I think. For this destination. A safety dog. Maybe something in the back alley. This is another photo dog. To be honest, I'm very lost. I think that's part of the experience, though. Is you're supposed to be very lost. This is the feeling of navigating the airport. Okay, well, I, can, I haven't found a cage dog. I could just leave. I don't know if he's here. Really don't know if he's here. Maybe some of the dogs might know. I, I, I don't think anyone has. Cage dog is not in our quest log, sadly, too. This place was supposed to meet is Beachwell. No one Chris should probably be somewhere overlooking the ocean. So I, I should just get back home. Okay, not Phobos. It's Uranus. Beachwell. time is it now? Okay, th th this is gonna be rough to find. Uh... Gate number three? It, you, know, you, you just got like a different ticket. Okay, diamond three. Yeah, there we go. This way. Uh, 
There is diamond three. <laughs> Forward. Is it, it? It's up here, I think. I think it's up here. Maybe. Not diamond, hourglass. Uh, it says it's- it says it's further up. Amazing. <laughs> it is- is it further up here? This does go further up, yeah. There's no one on this floor. This is diamond three. Not diamond. Hourglass. And now, now we need to find out what the, the other dog wants. He wants magic again. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Uh, let me find my board and pass. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in here somewhere. Let's get back to Beachwell and we'll uh, find Krista. I don't think we can find Cage Dog currently. Do we think this game has an end? Or is it simply just an experience? Sleepy Pup is on the plane with us. Uh, how are you? Sleeping. I already bought her, you done. No bother. Just gonna keep sleeping. Well, good night. Every night is a good night because I'm here. It's uh, kind of rad. There's not much to say. Games being updated constantly as you play. Oh. <laughs> Sure, I didn't didn't need that ticket anyway. Okay, we're back in Beachwell. Uh, Krista said she was gonna be here again. I can look for just a big star, I think, and maybe spot her. There she is. Just try and find Krista in this dog world. We didn't get any lumber or anything else that could help us. There really wasn't much in the city that could, that could actually help us. I, like, at all. You and your dog? Gonna get on the big old jumbo jet operated by an artificial brain. Hey up. Hey Krista, how you doing? You ever managed to get inside that airport gate on the edge of the cornucopia? Oh, and the dog's pretty cagey about it. That's the two ways to confront the unknown. Abject fear and let's do this. I don't like humans that way. Guess so, managed to find my way in there once. Want to hear about it. Well, it was a tough period for the big project and I came into Beachwell with extreme sleep deprivation. I nearly passed out on the floor twitching. I was super out of it and some got dogs picked me up to make sure I was alright. Well, the rest of the dogs with got dogs are the best dogs. I don't remember the exact details, but the dogs offered some sort of object at the gate and it opened up for them. Next thing I know, I'm stumbled through a portal into a cemetery rave. Long story short, a bunch of goth dogs arranged pillows around my caffeine adult body. I ended up sleeping 14 hours, and goth dogs are the best. Dear God, do I love goth dogs. Take your word for it, I'm glad they took care of you. So, what have you been up to? Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for the cats. Usually don't appear unless they want you to see them. Seems to be the case for me, I'm a little jealous, but I wish you luck, babe. Seriously, congratulations. I so enjoy these times. Duty calls. I have to get back to work. Think about the elf planet a lot for some reason. Want to meet there next? Okay, let's see the mushroom grove on the bottom level. Get going. 
we just throw myself off the edge into the abyss to the get back here. Elf planet, please. Thank you. So hard to see the time because it's so far away. Uh, we'll take one for 842. <laughs> just, just constantly lost in the airport. At least the dogs are chill. At least the dogs are chill. Where have you been so far? Uh, we've been to the city. Uh, the Marinara Trench. Beach World and the Starting Airport. We've been the we've been the four airports. We're going to a fifth one now. You haven't been to Uranus yet. There might be something there. What? Remember a plant I don't like except for Charles. Charles do. The gate seven is not here. We go to the Lord of the Rings, apparently. We're trying to find our way. Need something smelly. Oh yeah, we need the salami for that other, for the cat. We'll use the salami on the cat next time. I just said, what am I watching? I was caught by the unique chat mode filter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, oh no, we need to pass the time. We need we need to wait till for 90 minutes until takeoff. Can I can I sit at a bench and just pass time or do I have to find a time room? We don't set up shop here. I don't think I could just Oh there we go, sit. How do I leave? That did not pass much time. I can only sit on one side. Well, it's time to spend seven hours waiting for my flight. Oh, we 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 just, we just gotta kill, kill the afternoon. It's 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 gonna be a while. So how you all doing in chat? This perfectly represents everything I've ever felt at the airport. <laughs> yeah. I need the pee. I mean, now is a good time. <laughs> got it. We gotta wait till the morning for our plane to, to take off. This is the outro for the VOD. What's your favorite IRL airport? Uh, it is not LAX. That one is the worst one I've ever been through in my entire life. God, I fucking hate it. I, I don't, I, I feel, people have to endure that airport in the States. Awful. Um, there's quite a few that I like, though. Uh, the one in Bristol is such a cozy airport. I thankfully get to fly through whenever I go with, like, uh, Yogg's Cast Jingle Jam stuff. It's really cozy because it's a small airport and it's kind of, like, it's nice and quiet. It's always, like, a nice feeling with an airport. You don't want it to be too busy. You want to just kind of get through it okay with no bother. Atlanta's too busy. Yeah, Atlanta's too busy. Atlanta's just a bit too much. Uh, the Amsterdam airport was actually really lovely. Because uh, uh, any airport where you have, like, the scanners where you don't have to unpack your bags, that's, like, a top-tier airport. Like, that, that's just, like, quality of life. It's like, no, you don't need to take out all your electronics here. Just put your bag in. We can detect that shit. 
that any airport that has those is just automatically like a tier above any other airport. Atlanta Airport, the best. Oh, I don't know, Kelly. I mean, you can get anywhere from Atlanta Airport. That is true. Because I think it is literally the biggest airport in the world. But, like, going through security and that is just so long. And then, you know, you have to get the train after you get through security, too, to even get to your right terminal. I like a small, cozy airport that you can just, like, you just waltz up and you get on. You know, granted, those airports t t typically don't have every single, like, destination under their belt because, you know, they're smaller. But it's a good feeling going through them. It's a good feeling going through them. I thought Atlanta security was fast because of the machines. I would argue, like, Dublin Airport is even faster than Atlanta Airport. And Dublin Airport does not have the good machines, sadly. It's an absolute shame. Yeah, our, fl our flight is boarding now. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready for my plane. Oh, this dog has seen <laughs> better days. He's tired. No, just no. Tired. I feel the NUI. Can't get me fired up with a love. Can't get me fired up with a, with a love for the very concept of life. I don't care if you miss your flight. I just can't today, man. My apologies. How do I get him fired up for life? Throw a tennis ball at, at me or something. Okay, perfect. There you go. My power is unmanageable. It's one button to approve you for boarding. You press the button and now have the energy to press every button that ever existed. Gosh, I forgot I could feel this way. Thank you and enjoy your flight. Are you liking the game? It's very weird, but it, it, it's fun. I, I very much feel lost at the airport. Just like trying to desperately navigate my way. Please tell me I still have my ticket. Thank you. Iowa Falls Airport in Iowa US is literally one bad carousel, two terminals, and security is less than 30 feet away from boarded. A surgeon dog has given us an intense stare. What you up to? Thinking about my fiance. This obsession of you going across the universe to meet her. Yes, she's a scientist. Remembers the periodic table and everything. I think remember the periodic table is required to be a scientist and is vaguely terrifying, but I do respect it. I always get tripped up on the, on the lithiums. I operate on the hearth of suns. Sounds dangerous. It's a living. <laughs> he doesn't deny it. It's the paradox of a small airport, though. Because, like, it's great because it's small. Because you just get to go through and, like, wow, you're done. Don't have to worry about it. But that kind of airport is also horribly impractical for most destinations, you know? You gotta find like a middle ground where like, it's quiet but you can go places. I do like Dublin Airport for that. I just wish they had like the, f the better security and shit. It just takes a while to get through these days. Okay, anyway, this is the elf planet. Let's, um, let's have a look around. We're looking for the shops. Just want someone to acknowledge that archery owes to the noble arch for its popularity today. And go to the Philly airport next time you go to the States, it's horrible. <laughs> then why are you telling me to go there? Oh, you'd hate going through this one. Book a flight. I just think if you eat tennis balls, you're basically a war criminal. This is Jimmy Donuts, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's Jimmy. Trying to find my way. 
That's the dog Zor. Comfy dog. Spreading the word of comfy. Also just spreading out in general. Two types of spreading are, are coming into conflict, and I'm pretty sure my own relaxation is going to win out. I live my principles, you see. That's the word of comfy. Books should be comfy because it rocks and they deserve it. Short word, but I think it's effective. It really makes good points. Without saying, I'm happy to give you your own comfy chair if you want one. It's good to eventually go custom for these things, but everyone has to start somewhere. You won't find your best spot on the first day. You gotta try stuff. You gotta create butt impressions. Wiggle around a bit. It's patience and determination. I think you've got what it takes. Oh, give me the chair. I was give you another one, but it's a thought that counts, right? Comfy chair. Okay, so that's that's one of our quests complete there. God, it's all like vertical. Krista said she was on like the bottom level, I think. We gotta explore what's up here. It's not a cat. Revolutionary artist. Listen up. We're gonna change things. We're gonna break things. You will do most of the things, but I will watch and take credit. We're gonna get revenge on callous roommates everywhere. Do me a favor, I will give you a can of green spray paint. I want an axe. Actually, I actually do have one. Hang on. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, this is good. Brian is going to regret literally everything he has ever done. Thanks for this. Go for it and spread my unique brand of relatable revolution, comrade. Oh, you can actually spray paint. Poor Brian. Not gonna know what hit him. Uh, this was the record store. The butchers. Can you spell fuck though? I mean, I probably can now. Probably can now, let's be real. That's the orb shop. That's the magic store. It's the music shop. We, we already got something from there. Bone store. Suitcases. Okay, so we gotta we gotta find a way up. Come on back down. I believe in you. we go. This is giving such old Roblox game vibes. I, I think I'm good for the old Roblox, personally. I think I'm good. Go up here. Spray paint signs for peak airport confusion. I could just start drawing arrows. <laughs> like, that's the way you wanna go. Just another toilet. This doesn't help us. Can't find a lumber store anywhere. Dog parader here? Who would you like to call? I actually like to call my mom, thanks. You got it. Sorry, sir, but that number seems to be out of service. Yeah, I know. Thanks, dog parader. Oh, no. Oh, we got Krista. You got it. Her voice well. Would you like? Would you like to hear it? Yeah, it'd be nice to hear from her again. Sorry for a little distortion, sir. This does appear to pass through dog wavelengths. Stand by. If you're calling this number, you're probably not a dog. Even dogs prefer texting to a phone call. So my fiance, hey weirdo. I love you and for what it's worth, I'm glad you called. I'll be back soon. Now you say it first this time. Love you, weirdo. That's sweet. These these are just scattered everywhere. 
Okay, we, we need we need to make our way down. I'm sure this is safe. We got another little spot over here. There's the mushroom level there. Ah uh, yes, normal gravity. This is Dog Bigadome. <laughs> hey son. Y'all ever think about the fact that your hat is not big enough? Daily? I will tell you the truth. This concern haunts my very awakened moment. Many a night have I spent with the brightest minds in the canine world, building what we hope will become the largest hat ever con conceived of by God or man. Now, before we go any further, are you familiar with the Fermi Paradox? No. Enrico Fermi was one of y'all's fancier humans. So I just died. I chewed in a couple books about him. Fascinating stuff. The Fermi knows an interesting gap in our picture of space. You'd be expected there would be other folks out there, right? It's a big universe. So, where is everybody? Theory goes, there must be something that drives the species on the cusp of reaching out to a greater cosmos to destroy itself. A limiting factor. Y'all are actually a perfect example. Aliens only came around once the humans disappeared. Then dogs only started popping up on the galactic charts once the aliens were gone. We don't know why. Single-handedly pushed dog kind past the Fermi Paradox barrier by making a hat of unprecedented size. What happens next? What happens next, son? It's terrifying. Yeah. Can't think of a single thing more powerful, powerful and important than an extremely large hat. If intelligent life consistently dooms itself, I can think of nothing more certain to trigger this universal failsafe than my headwear-related hubris. The aliens could come back at any moment, son. I'm pretty sure they want my hat. I wouldn't do- I wouldn't doom the whole universe to pursue my dream of a larger hat. Like, if I can pursue said dream without dooming the universe, well, I'm gonna do it. Rare, we've found a remnant of the alien civilization. Really appreciate you bringing it to me. People study it in exhaustive detail. I truly understand those who have gone before will know. Will know whether the aliens are of temperament to come back. Take my hat and damn us all, in that order. We need an alien artifact. Um... I, I have a void. Hot dog, that is true today, that is spacious day indeed. I bought this, I gotta say, it ain't what we're looking for. Something cosmic. I've got a gun. Bed. I've got a, I've got a record. Photocopy is pretty alien. Wasn't the gun from Cosmo's shop? Yeah, it it was actually. Maybe he does want the gun. Hang on. No, he doesn't want the gun. What about the Grimoire? I mean, I, I don't know if that's alien. It feels like un ancient, untold evil more than anything, you know? I feel like there's a difference. Okay, well, down we go. What's this? Hey, how, how are you even supposed to get into some of these shops? What is wind? Okay, hang on. I don't think there's anything I need in any of these. Power store, the lamp shop. Clothes store. Uh, Krista is here somewhere on this level. What does the squeaky salami do? It just, it just squeaks. Doesn't need to do anything else. This is what dreams are like if you were to somehow convert the brainwaves of a dream into a video game. It does feel it. it, it like, this is a very surreal experience. Hey, Janner Dog, how you doing? I never would have guessed. Does anyone? Does anyone see Chris? There she is. Not much down here. Oh, 
Eric, you go there. Here, I mean. It's nice to see you, is what I'm saying. She was on top of the mushroom for a moment. Hey, Krista. Planet full of elf dogs. Have your feelings changed? Yes, elf dogs are utterly comfortable with their identity and I envy their strength. Send your pain, I'm sorry. They're just majestic. See, you get it. Big project is moving fast. You know, I'll know some pretty big news soon. You're going on a trip. Oh, I can't say more right now. Aaron Dog is a real stickler for confidentiality. You could say he's dogmatic. Yes. If I want to be fired, I could say that. That sunset is a heck of a thing, right? Everything will be two, two black people at the end of the world. Uh, I try not to think about the end of our world. But I'm guessing that is our character here. I had several conversations about the end of the world. If we were dating anyone else, it would have been a real bummer. Think about the next place. Are we on the Patsville next? Let's go see Cage Dog again. Promise you, I'm not trying to lure you to talk to Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages. You get the Patsville, I'll be at the big elevated highway that defies the laws of physics. Love you, weirdo. Until next time. Okay, we got. Oh no, we have to find our way back now. Okay, let me throw myself into the abyss real quick. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky to find our way back this time. This airport is pretty rough. Uh it's Phobos. I mean, in fairness, all the airports are pretty rough. Marinara Trench. Oh no, they don't even have tickets. What do I do? I can't even get to Patsville. I need to get a connect and fly. Oh no. Did the Marinara Trench have a have a have won the Patsville? I think Be Beachwell did, didn't it? Beach well did. Okay, we're looking for C5. Which is this way. Thank god, it's pretty straightforward this time. Time for a layover. Be over here? Not quite. It's a pretty. It's, it's not the best airport design, is it? <laughs> you need to find your bags. Go into the woods. Oh no, he's just not here. Uh, what? What? What time is it? <laughs> Something nine. Ah. Uh, One oh nine. Okay, we 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 did find a way to pass the time. Yeah, like a bench or something. There might be one back over here. At least we'd ever need to go to baggage claim. It's, it's, it's a big relief when you don't have to. I've actually started flying with like just a, like a big duffel bag lately. Uh, just like stuff in the overhead. And like it's it just makes such a difference. The amount of stress I've had because like I've lost my bags. I... I've lost my bags on flights like five times. Like it's actually ridiculous. I lost my bag on my flight to Japan earlier this year. So stressful. It just keeps happening. Like I've shit luck. When um when Mareep was actually sent over, because I flew from London to Dublin when I got Mareep. Um I had to get it in the UK basically, because you can't couldn't get Mareep in Ireland. They don't post there. So I basically mailed it to Spiff and then collected it off Spiff. But when I flew from London to Dublin, I had to send, I had to mail, get Mareep back on the plane and put Mareep. This is a life-size Mareep plush into overchecked baggage. They lost Mareep on the flight. And it's like, how do you even manage that? It's literally like a giant sheep. 
and they lost her. And it took like three days to track her down. Like how? It's like it's the London to Dublin as well. Like we're not. Like, it's not even like connecting flights. How do you mess it up? That up. Harip fell off the plane. It's like this place with a tank. Like it, it was just horrendous. But we, but we found her in the end, obviously. I can't I can't see the clock from here. So, you know, it all worked out. Reap had an adventure. She yearns for freedom. I need to wait a bit longer before I can go for the flight. Yeah, it's like, like, I, I, like that's what I mean. Like, I've, I've had, like, Shit luck with flights for the years. Like, um, yeah, like here's like, do you remember? Do you remember when there was news that like Gatwick Airport in London is being terrorized by a drone? Yeah, I was caught up in that. I had to, I'd spend like eight hours in the airport. <laughs> Couldn't avoid it. Yeah, I was caught in that. Yeah, I was I was in Gatwick like uh, like overnight, and there was like a gang of us. It was just like, well, I guess we're here till eight in the morning now. There was like a plane recall, I think, as well. Like I think it would have been 2019 as well. Guess whose plane got recalled? <laughs> like it keeps happening. I think I was, I think I was in like, I think I was in Providence, Rhode Island for like a single day. Because it's like, oh, I guess I'm just stuck here. Because I couldn't get like across the Atlantic. Is this my flight? No, we're looking for C5. Dab, dad, your travel luck sucks. It really does, yeah. We're flying. Like, I dread going through airports these days. This is on top of it. I'm actually scared of flying as well. Like, this is on top of that. I, I don't I don't handle like turbulence well at all. Like the feeling of going down in a plane is just scares the shit out of me. Just can't handle it. So like I'm already nervous enough, and then like half my flight is like we lost your bag again, sir. And it's like oh for fuck's sake. So like I, I, that's why like I, if I can avoid like a check-in bag at this point, it's just like yep yeah, fuck it. I will carry everything in my arms if I can. <laughs> Then like check a bag at this point. Like I've lost like my bag like five or six times in like four years, and it's just so stupid. It's so frustrating. Gonna be wearing fifteen sweaters and eight shirts. <laughs> I will. I like. I would rather do that. Yep. Oh, it's the prepper dog. Uh, I've got I've got an umbrella for you. Hang on. It's prepped. I get my connection flight out of the airport. There we go. If you fly on Aer Lingus had some controversy with lost luggage and another contact card. I, I actually saw that, yeah. I think I think um Connor got caught up in the hat a while back. Professor Dog. Have you ever tried to teach a room of 42 dogs about tectonic geology? No. The first 15 minutes are magical. The students are attentive, asking questions and engaging with each other. Everyone's done the read. Feels like the perfect. Er, excuse me. <laughs> I was just burping. I, I was just reading his dialogue and the press was like, <laughs> Sorry, I was just burping for some reason. It feels like the perfect educational environment. Then it all falls apart like a cheap chew toy. Some, someone steps on a tail of someone else. The book falls onto the floor. An unusual smell fills the hallway. God forbid, someone farts. The room is in an uproar and I'm shouting about the impact of material elasticity 
and the evolution of natural environments as the two dogs still taking notes in the middle of an excited fury tornado. I live my life in search of that next golden set of minutes. But enough about me. Hopefully you find your own magic time, wherever you're going next. Thanks, Professor Dog. Oh god, okay, we're back. I'm here for my connecting flight. Uh, not the marinara trench. Still, nah, I'm still not going to Uranus. Uh, there's, there's not one here. Oh my god, this st I have to get another flight. I've got two connecting flights now. Okay, alright, we're going to Uranus. Let's take us there. Just take us there. 23, 22. No, that's, that's a bit far out. Hang on. 2052. We're looking for gate number two. Let me see. Does that mean one to three are that way? Maybe? This guy's for 100 bits. How was your first time going through an airport on your own? It was stressful trying to get there. Make sure you're doing everything so you don't miss your flight. Want to ask when I eventually go abroad on my own? Um, I mean, it was honestly okay. Like, I, th I think the first time I flew on my own, I think it would have been like an insomnia. Is it insomnia? I, I think it was insomnia to like meet up like TF2 friends back in the day. I think that was the first one. Before that, I was like always with the family or like even some friends or that. It's honestly fine. Like it's quite. I I you you get kind of used to it. You just kind of show a bit early. Get used to waiting around a while. Like I always get like a meal deal thing in like W H Smith or whatever equivalent store it is. It's kind of like a cozy kind of comfort food there. It's just like yeah, I'm just gonna have one of these and like get like a whisper or something, you know. Like my go to. Yeah, that that's the flight. I gotta just pass some time now. Let me let me find a bench. So where the WHS Smith Airport meals are so much better than the normal ones. They're actually they're actually quite nice. Yeah, like I actually really like them. Don't like eating too much before I get on a plane and that, because then I just feel like kind of sluggish. American Air, first time I went to the UK, I landed in Heathrow, but needed to get the Gatwick. Dumbass didn't research how far they were, so I took a taxi, I spent all my money on that one taxi trip. Oh, yeah, like... And you gotta be really careful with, like, London taxis in general, because, like, if you get, like, a black cab or something like that, like... Just goodbye to your finances. Like, it's the worst. They're so expensive. Yeah, that, that's painful. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, they're, they're quite far apart. Yeah, especially with London taxis, like you got, you only get those if you're desperate. There's like nothing else. Fashion dog. He wants clothes. I want some. Dog fashion moves lightning fast, so any item of clothing that's reasonably cool will do. Worst case, I can spin what I'm wearing as the next big fashion trend. Okay. Uh, I have a pair of shoes. Incredible, bold fashion item. New direction for the market of wearable accessories as we know it. Which will keep me on the cutting edge of on the cutting edge for at least the next 17 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I need I need to get another flight after this too. If in London just get an Uber, honestly. Yeah, you better off. Like underground or Uber. That dog's staring at us. Common dog. I heard your homeworld got destroyed. How does that feel? Is it terrible? I wouldn't know how it feels to live with a constant reminder that I'm the last of my kind, roaming transient spaces in search of a home that doesn't exist. Okay, common dog. I'm a dog. 
I try not to think about it. You don't want to think about the fact that anyone and everyone you've ever known is gone. You okay? Would you like to talk about it or anything else, really? I'm a licensed therapist. Do you need to talk? I'm here. Someone usually is, if you allow yourself to see him. I'm going to lick myself. <laughs> like, well, if you ever want to open up about how you're feeling, just know I'm here. I'm going to lick my balls now. But if you need me, I'm here. Thanks, therapy dog. Entered the airport known as Uranus. <laughs> Achievement get- God, what's going on with the billboard? That's not good design. Oh no, okay. Okay, there's Paxville. Elf Planet. I think we've been to most of the airports. There's Marinara Trench. I think this is the last one we haven't been to. Okay, well, let's check out the shops, because maybe we can get, like, the lumber that we need here or something. There's Photo Dog. Coffee Dog. Jimmy Donuts. How's our pupper decks looking? We, we've actually met, like, a lot of them now. Yeah, there's only a few left. There's the meat place, the lamp shop. Gonna get, gonna get another coffee. Big order. Thank you. My easy range is just the grid from Tron. I mean, it actually is like quite easy to navigate compared to everywhere else we've been. It's a lot more accessible. Dog concealing explosives. <laughs> Listen to me very carefully. Small fluffy friend touched me. My body is not a dog. It is a container full of decommissioned missiles scavenged from the shattered remains of Earth. Do you understand? Oh, I cannot think of a single reason you think I understand. And okay, by hearing this, you become my accomplice. I am in a land of pain and could use the company. Come in. <laughs> Humans left a lot of weapons behind, like a distressing amount of absurdly deadly things. An amount that raises serious questions. Thought they must be like trading cards. The more ordnance you have, the cooler your collection. They have to be for show, right? By the time I finish scavenging Earth's orbit, a lot of these cool things I've been gathering could single-handedly wipe out an entire world. So you humans thought that was totally okay for some reason. Now I've got all these catastrophic, incredibly ill-advised inventions stuffed inside an adorable disguise. I am freaking out. Yeah, that's fair. I resigned myself to basically try to get rid of these things forever. That said, if you know someone who could actually put a missile to good use, feel free to send them my way. Yeah, I, I can actually take some missiles. If you regret this, I will find you. C can I have another missile? You're not getting too close to the second dog. How do I use it? Gives you like a speed boost. How do you just think if you eat tennis balls, you're basically a war criminal? We drink the missile? Is this like coffee somehow? I don't know how that's working. Okay, business dog. Give me some toilet paper. Okay, so we need we need to give the missile to the explosive cat, I think. No, was it, was it construction dog? I can't remember who wanted that. Been in the clothes store. This is Corny Kara. This is strawberry cone. Does anyone see any new stores? I really don't think there's any. It all looks to be the same. I think it's time to just find our way out once the uh, hallucinogens wear off. Oh, 
Oh my god, wait, though, there's even more here. It's the orb store. If anyone sees a new store, let me know. I think we've got them all, but just in case. Hopefully the world is less green soon. There we go. This is the nuclear fallout of the missile. That's going even faster now, too. Yeah, let me let, let, let me get a ticket out of here. Uh, we need we need to go to Patsville, isn't it? It's eight eleven. One should be fine. Um. <laughs> just where's my gate? Uh, we're looking for number four. So no, that's not here. Number four, that's also not here. There was a missile store a bit back. Well, the, there was the dog we talked to. He's giving us missiles. Gate number four is this... This way. Now that's really freaking out the closer to further we go in. Making me nervous. Buff strewn. Petty Artist is here again. Was this a, no, this is a different cat. Hey, have you met a bear where an elf ears? Not that I can recall. Shut up, I don't care. I want you to cocoon this man in paint. Just absolutely mess him up. Destroy this bear's day. You don't even need to tell me you did it. I prefer the quiet knowledge that somewhere, somehow, my rival is probably being mildly inconvenienced. Why am I doing this? I said a joke at a party. There were a couple of chuckles. A few minutes later, this bear tells the same joke, brings down the house. Apply for the same art grant. We both got it. He looked a little smug when he accepted it. He deserved it slightly more than me, even though he was the exact same award. Despise this bear. He haunts my every waking hour with mild irritation. Make him pay. <laughs> okay. Finally. We could have been done with this minutes ago, jerk. More cans of paint. Right, the cat wants me to ruin a bear's day. I think this is my mine. What does bribe dog need? I want something meaty. And I think I, I have some squeaky salami. Let me get my ticket. Go with, I have so much inventory. <laughs> you a unique dog? Dog with a problem. Hello there. How would you feel about buying an orphanage? Minus the orphans. To be clear, I'm absolutely not tempted to sell you orphans. Uh, just tell me more. Well, a bunch of orphanages, but now I realize that orphans don't exist anymore. So, uh, yeah. Happy for the orphans, really. It's just I've got so many orphanages now, you know? What about the orphans? I didn't do anything. The orphans were here and now they're gone. And everyone deserves a home filled with folks who love and care for them. So we make sure every puppy gets one, especially if it's not the place where they were born. It's the way things should work. It just means that as someone who wants to be a good person, also a dog, can't build some orphanages and call it a day. We built 1,714 orphanages in a universe where orphans aren't a thing anymore because I'm a massive dum dum. I mean, yeah, but he had good intentions. Taking adorable little pups, help older, lovable, hired cases find their way. It's gonna be a whole thing. Let me know if you want to take one of these orphanages off my paws, okay? Yeah. 
Give me an orphanage. <laughs> sure. You know, just... Give me an extra one, just in case, you know. Now let's get on my plane before the authorities get involved. Let me find my ticket. So surreal. Orphanage you get. Congratulations on your purchase. Thank you. Trendy dog. Have you considered modeling? Why do you ask? I run a small dog fashion magazine, just a couple billion readers. You probably haven't heard of it. Humans are in this here. They smell great, get fantastic pets, and his flexibility is just uh, delicious. Also, there's only two of them, so you have the scarcity factor that makes fashion so wonderfully shifted. No pressure, but consider it, okay? I know what folks like. I think they'll they'll like you quite a bit. Thanks for the tip. Okay, we're, lo we're looking for Krista. She said she was up on, like, the bypass. Defies physics. Canonically, how many dogs out are in this universe? I mean, we we've discovered a lot of them. So he's like, these are, like, the special ones that you can talk to in the world. This is a catalog, I think, of the dogs that you meet on the plane. Oh, no, it's not quite. No, this is the catalog of just the dogs in general. Some of them are just updated each time. This Professor Dog, Willy Dogka. Helps, he is sorry for kidnapping me. But, you know, collect them all kind of scenario if you want to meet every dog. What? What? Was one of the dogs who wanted the missile, did they live in this one? It's so hard to keep place of where everyone is. Is there even any goal in this game? I think it- I think it is just talk to the dogs. I- I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Look in the Patsville. It is roads. Shouldn't drive them, but you know that they're there. Appreciate the height. I know. Prefer the roads to confirm to the laws of conform to the laws of physics. Maybe that's just me. It's you. I got the news, by the way. The big project is going to require a big trip, and I'm going to have to go with him. Oh wow. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry. I mean, the dogs think we figured out a way to cross the barrier between dimensions. We're going to use the black hole on Uranus. With a craft of the right size and design, we can slingshot across the event horizon. Eventually, we'll be even be able to choose a destination. You can come back home. For a trip that's supposed to be inherently impossible. Imagine a utopian canine civilization got interstellar. Interdimensional. The premise is ridiculous enough that we owe it to ourselves to at least try, right? The best I have, I have to go. It's the only one with thumbs. We haven't managed to invent hands for dogs yet. Priorities here are kind of odd. Unlikely as it sounds, it works, babe. It really works. Come on, say something, please. When will you come back? I don't know. Not a nice answer, but it is the true one. We, uh, we know it's possible, we just can't tell how we'll do it until we get to the other side. Decades. Have to go. I not forgive you if I didn't, I couldn't forgive myself. It's a chance of several lifetimes, literally. Oh, I'm sorry. Where's our next meeting site? Go back to Phobos. We can meet at those human-sized seats next to the time zone. I want to make sure I see that giant, fantastic fire hydrant one more time before I leave. And we have. There's a lot of preparation necessary. I'll have some time off, too. Say goodbye, you know? Love you, weirdo. Love you, too. Oh, no! She's leaving us! She's needed elsewhere. This one wants the confusion, still. Do we have confusion? I have a missile. Not quite right. Dog divorce arc. A 
I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the game. I mean, it's fun. It's very much like surreal and absurdist, you know? I think that's the point of it. How much longer do you think we'd have to go to even beat it? Dare I say. Because I, I have to keep a careful eye on the time tonight. And I have no idea. Is there an end? Maybe if we just like uh, keep chasing Krista. And see what we can uncover there. Okay, I need to get the Phobos. It's Uranus. Give me 50 tickets. Maybe reunite with the fiance will be the end. I mean, who knows, you know? It's real it's hard to tell. And I gotta get my flight, you know? I actually have to get my flight tomorrow and I have some work I need to do before I uh clock off for the night. But we started early today. I gotta get my plane. This way. Need to find the cat, though. I mean, he, he's out there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I never know where the terminals are. I'm looking for, like, squiggly line two. No. There's the cat. Cannot be left with another unfinished divorce arc. I won't be able to take this again. Why can you turn on the game? It's so loud. Is the game audio fine? I don't think it is. I think we will just keep saying, like, whatever with that. It's fine. Where is this dog? Terminal. Squiggly line two. We need lovesick dog. Just throwing something full of liquid directly at my face. Okay. Uh, here's a hot coffee. <laughs> No. Uba -duba. Wow, thanks for that. Oh, I certainly feel better. I think I could help you board your plane now. Take care of yourself, wet friend. And in another pass. We'll try and get to the bottom of things with Krista. Very full dog is here. Dude. Dude. I'm so full, dude. I ate before getting on the plane. I ate while I was on the plane. You know what I said? I had to go to the bathroom earlier. I sneaked into the flight attendant cabin thing. I chopped out at 87 packages of peanuts before they stopped me, dude. I didn't save you one, dude. I'm so sorry, dude. That is so uncool of me. Are you gonna be okay? How many times I've been this full? So many times. To ride the full way, the full hollow, the hall of warriors who are full. Also Vikings. How much I love Vikings, dude. Love Vikings this much. Your favorite Viking. Let me be real with you, dude. You know nothing about Vikings except they were rad and occasionally they got really into pillaging. Just have identify with Strongly when I get hungry and think of betraying my morals just to gorge myself with some crunchy goodness wrapped in plastic. I feel so, so guilty about the peanut thing, dude. We make a deal. Can I get tone? Yeah, sure. Listen. Buddy. Val. Friend. 
Say the word and I will spew peanuts all over this chair. And we can split them, dude. Sharon. I feel very good about this plan. I can't believe I'm considering this. I'm not gonna regret this, dude. Believe me, it tastes even better the second time. God. Land at the airport. Oh, that's disgusting. To the airport known as Phobos. This is, this is where we started, isn't it? I got an achievement for it. Is it slightly different? This is where we started, yeah. I guess because we started here, it's not. it didn't give us an achievement before. Let me see how we're doing. Oh, we have 86% of every single achievement. We're missing one for pet and character 704 times. We're missing the teleporter achievement. Or we're missing a heartbeat sensor. Okay, so I I I need I need to pet a dog a few more times. Hang on. We need to get the 704. This is what progress looks like. Okay, yeah, achievement unlocked. Yep, yeah, we got it. Dogstrian. We didn't go down this hall before, did we? I don't think so. There might be another unique dog down here. Engineer dog! I'll be mad I broke several laws of physics so that you could run as fast as you want on this people... On this people mover in any direction. Which is supposed to go, it doesn't go that direction anymore. It goes both directions all the time. That's pretty cool. It's glad to hear you think so. I don't think I've done anything terribly wrong, but I've also got this constant, vague fear that I will be punished for my sins against the universe. Don't, don't worry about it. I think it broke physics so hard that it affected every people mover. Use every people mover you see going both ways. I'm sorry, you're welcome. I don't know how to feel about all this myself, to be honest. Yeah, thanks. Nice work, engineer dog. Do we do we know do we know where Krista is? She's down there in that middle section. Okay, let's make our way over. Oh, look at this dog, Percy. Oh, he's like actually slightly 3D, I think, compared to all the other dogs. Hey, fella, I got my head stuck in a peanut butter jar a few days ago, and this happened. Not quite sure why, not quite sure how, but boy howdy. I do not like it. Not a fan of the 3D world. I don't mean any offense, but absolutely not. No. -uh. First time I felt a stiff breeze. Transformative. And it transferred my opinion to be that much more negative. It's a big old no for me. Yes, sir. Anyway, it strikes me as some high speed, super duper mystical transformation nonsense. Dangerous, but I've heard the uh, Baba Yaga dog has a powerful elixir. I'd be able to reverse my condition. I go on an odyssey to get that elixir myself, but I kind of hate having legs. Real difficult to move. And they're just always there. You could help. Got an elixir right here. Yeah, we need we need we need to find a, a super secret potion. I don't think I have what he wants. I got a snow cone. Greedy dog, holy shit. Game just stepped up. Actual model dog. I gotta, I gotta hop down there to get to Krista. We're just gonna see if there's anything over here real quick. Any special dogs? No, it's just a flight there. It being 3D must be related to the dog lore, presumably. It all comes back together, you know? Get so used to the 2D, I didn't even notice at first. Yep. Yeah, no, me neither. Airport manager. 
just looking over at the airport that exists. The renovation is complete. It makes his patrons happy I've won. He's having a good time. A safety dog again. Investigation dog! Hello, traveler. I'm a detective from Pattsville. I'm investigating a crime. It's a crime. Horrible thing, sir. See. You stole my heart. Oh, he, he just... He just dropped the a, a actual heart. What the hell, man? What do you mean? He just dropped a human heart at my feet. And you know it's human. Is it a human heart? Yes. I think we're gonna be sick. In fairness to me, this is usually much more charming. I'm into exactly none of this. Probably for the best. Well, that's a, that's an achievement get. If you can hear it beating, oh my god! Only a few more dogs are missing with their quests. This is what's keeping track of them. Oh, we're fine. Hey, Krista, I might have found a relative. Might be all we have left. It's got a sick beat. There's a spot where you could use the golden ticket. I mean, there probably is. It depends if it's here or not. Kind of have to just explore and, like, use object on everything. It's that kind of game. Goodness, dog. I wanted to find justice. You'd find justice, but I'd like that to have any effort on my part. You understand? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, where, where was Krista? Did I pass her? He's over there. Past the Golden Gate. Where is the Golden Gate? I, I can go back to that in a mo. Check in with Krista first. After Engineer Dog. Thank you. I'll go back there. Tell you that I like that we're long distance. No, no, you didn't. The Monday have to keep secrets for work. But my privacy and freedom, I like that you have the same things. I like hopping around the universe, helping dogs, and having a good time. With a spark in your eyes when you spot me through a crowd. Hunger, like you're starving, I'm the one thing you've been looking for. And this is easy, but it's not hard loving you either. All that said, we have stuff to figure out. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I want you to go if. I want you to go because you have to go, of course. You need to leave and feel safe when you do. When you come back, I'm here for you, just like you're here for me. I know that to the depths of my soul. Whether we're in the same dimension or not. Ought to absorb. Does that mean we're good? You are. I'm so, so glad that you're my person. I had a whole thing prepared. I took 15 drafts. At one point, I called myself a worm. <laughs> oh, no. The exact quote was, a grotesque toad of a worm. Okay, no, not that. What does that even mean? Oh no, I felt guilty. I didn't know when you'd show up. I had too much time to think about all of this. Just because we are in the same physical space or a cottage doesn't mean I can't be a good, considered partner to you. Sorry for leaving, you're welcome for coming back. But I am coming back. I'm gonna meet the Marinara Trench next. That's the seaside view, absolutely. Freaking love you, weirdo. Freaking love you too, weirdo. In the marinara. Oh, but by the way, Krista! You want an organ? Got this at the hand. We gotta get to the marinara trench. And also, there's like a golden ticket. Uh, a desk here somewhere. Our field looks a bit different than I remember. That's the donut store. It was near Engineer Dog, was it? 
engineer dog was here somewhere. Oh, are you someone? Jealous dog. You believe that pilots have a special piece of the air pod themselves just because they're exposed to cosmic sights beyond all hope or imagining, jerks. I can be a member too if I want it. The empty boarding gate. Fancy velvet rope seems as special as if I'm not. We get inside. We've been dog pilot and carrying an invisible field of haunted darkness everywhere you go. And I see people wave a golden ticket in front of the gate to get inside. Turn my head real quickly though, so I can't see how much I resent them. Thanks for the tip. Jealous dog. Jealous dog is very upset. Let me, let me, let me, golden ticket. Oh, look at this. Very important dog. I'm working on my court, my courage to go inside. What if I don't really deserve to be here? What if the only thing I'm good at is talking to weird people in purple hats? Dilemma that affects us all, I'm sure. Oh, look at this. There's some characters in here. Very important dog. Not sure that dog in the corner is entirely well. Someone should check at him. Someone who isn't me. Come here and think. Smell of good food wafting through the air. Quiet company. Can't really ask for anything better. Guess you could ask for a truck. Trucks are cool. I'm just thinking about trucks. Dog chef. It's a VID, a vid. When the humans, you two are pretty famous, you know. Only two people left in the universe to give belly rubs. It's kind of a big deal. I don't want to add any pressure or anything, but it's very cool to finally meet you. Pleasure is mine. You're going to make me blush. I don't have any people food for you. That said, you're more than welcome to make yourself at home. Time is on your side. Any questions at all, I'll be right here. Thank you. Why the golden tickets? We aren't actually that exclusive. Some dogs just like the quiet space, and this lounge enables that quiet. New Willie has been going through a really tough time, so he suggested to the airport manager that we code the lock to respond to his golden tickets. That mixed results so far. I'm hopeful, though. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying. A shitload of raw meat. There's a horse in here. A tired pilot. Well, oh. I used to be a pilot, but that's all gone now. Bye-bye. It's just me and the memories. The memories poisoned me. Not good for anything anymore. Is that knife here? <laughs> yeah, that's my knife. 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 It's my knife for the bad times. What are the bad times? New questions for you. What is it the bad times? You have to be, you have to bash your puppy to be a pilot. Bear witness. Then you hit two, he was three years old. It's too late, you're too old. You can't do your job, you've changed too much. And the special juice doesn't help anymore. I did something I wasn't supposed to do. You want to hear what I did? Oh god. I took pictures. I witnessed evidence. That camera will never be the shame, just like me. What? What's even going on? <laughs> well, we got a camera. Cosmic photo. Oh, we can we can use these because someone was looking for something cosmic. It's trying to avoid the authorities. This isn't one of our central quest dogs. Still, some dogs that we haven't met yet. Talk to the horse. I I don't think I can. No, the horse the horse is just chilling here. VIP dog lounge has been unlocked. Uh, let's get let's get another plane. Let's check on Krista. We'll see if we can get to the end of Krista's story more than anything. Uh, achievement wise, we're now on ninety five percent. The only one we're missing is the teleporter, which describes itself as you've broken the laws of physics. Oh. 
A marinara trench, please. Uh, what time is it? 7.41. It's <laughs> like no planes for a while. N26, I think, is soonest. Let's pass some time. Is there fast travel in this game? No, you gotta get the plane each time. This is what's left of reality, is like this dog space in airports. There's nothing else. I wonder if it has something to do with the... Your skull is pounding spot where David Bo Boney used to be. Yeah, there might be something behind there. You might need an item. What is this game? I'm... To be honest, I'm still not sure. There's a bit of a love story in it, which is sweet. Why is it glowing green something? The lighting. It's a bit of a love story, but it's pretty weird. <laughs> it's an absurd game. I mean it in a nice sense. My game of the year, I'm not being sarcastic, I'm serious. I mean, if you just like talking the dogs really enjoy dogs in general like I mean this, this is like a no-brainer of a game for you hey, look at this dude first he's amazing a pill dog uh, I need to get him some medicine how'd you find this game Kelly recommended it to me he said it was a weird experience I was like, oh, you know, let's just give it a go. Let me get my medicine. We have no inventory limit, so we can just hold on to all that. I originally heard about this game from a Jacob Keller video. Oh, did he cover it at some point, actually? I, I don't know if I've seen that one. I love Jacob Keller. Okay, Pill Dog has his. Let's see, my ticket. Get back to the Marinara Trench. I think we have something to drop off here. I think the guy who wanted missiles was on this planet. Anxious Parent Dog. Going on vacation, leaving the boys behind for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be back with my wife at the next airport. Be a good time. The occasion. With an occasion, more of an escape. Or prison break. Alicia, that's my wife's name. She left first. We coordinated the payphones. The boys are on to me, you see. Be more careful. I started a second bank account on Uranus. Something the boys couldn't tap. Now I'm finally gonna join her. We'll relax for a week or seven and then go back to our hungry, hungry sons. Tell you something dangerous. D no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my friend. You're already an accomplice. The boys will smell me on you. Well, I'm gonna sleep now. <laughs> okay. Well, we made it back. You're an elf dog. Okay, does anyone see? There she is. I'm somebody to take the pills. I just feel better. So what do you fall in the hole? The ocean is made of blood issue. Uh, pro-blood. I am also pro-blood. Glad I just drowned in red blood juices. Probably not. I'm pro-blood in general. Iron Dog is working on a design for a hydroelectric power that functions with any liquid. Try not to read too much into it. You know, all suspicious aside, I'm gonna miss this view a lot. Get a pack? Oh, so. Hey, maybe it'll be another version of that outer dimension. Who can say? I certainly couldn't tell you, and I'm a scientist. Let's 
scared. Does it ruin things when I bring it up? The big trip. Life from Salsa, I'm not sure as much you can ruin. Yeah, just you got you gotta make a joke and laugh at it. Let's do it. was grandma's recipe, you can blame her. Want to meet a beach well next? Mothman themed record shop. Maybe chat about some tunes. Yeah, we got we gotta get our next ticket. Bend an archaeologist? Oh, there was a soda study. Back to the beach, well. No, I'm good. I've got to get another connecting flight. Ah, oh, how do I get there? If I go to Phobos, I think I can get there. It's the elf planet. Uh, help me out, chat. What's the fastest way for me to get to Beachwell? I I need I need I need to get a transfer again. No idea. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? There's no the Phobos isn't available. Beachwell isn't available here. We've never played this. Okay, let's just go to Patsville. Go to Patsville. Uh, 2240. <laughs> I'm just kind of hoping that one of these is my terminal. Okay, it's, it's this one. It's this one. Uh, we just have to wait the entire day again. And you gotta, you gotta sit all, it's, it's only on certain benches that you can rest. I, I can't sit down here. Let me, let me find a bench. Forever lost in the airport. The game. You get a bed that advances time by five hours or something. I could try it. Oh, there we go. If I still need to, still need to find another bench. I need to make him stinky. Squeaky salami. Ah, so this is what's like to become an abomination. Enjoy the paint. I'm gonna roll into some garbage later to put the finishing touches on all this. Thank you. Cut the cat again. Oh, they actually purr! It's like either cat noises or like your lawnmower starting. Either or. I can help construction dog over here now too. You think? No, wait, no, he... Uh, he needed a plank. Sorry, construction dog. Is there, is there a bench anywhere? I need a bench. There's one. Found it. Yeah, we need to wait a little longer for our flight. We're getting there. I'm just curious where this goes come the end. More than anything. It's such a fever dream.
Okay, where was our flight? It was over here somewhere. Um, it wasn't bribe, dog. Oh, he's not, he's not ready for us yet. Hang on. We're too soon. So much shit in my inventory. I wish I had like a bag or something. <laughs> we can actually see what I'm holding. You hold an entire cash register? No, that was an orphanage. Hope that clears that up. Okay, back over here. Wash dog is always upset. If you miss the plane. And he'll let you know. Oh, it's another prepper dog who needs an umbrella. I gotta go find that now. It's over there. And the, the reason it gives you spray paint in that, I think, is mainly just for markers for yourself. So you can start finding shit. Find your way back. Thank you. Hey, give give me give me another umbrella. Hey, thank you. Use the orphanage for planks. Uh, maybe, actually. Maybe? I don't know if that would be accepted. I have to walk all the way back again if I, if I want to do that. Okay, here's your umbrella. To find my, my ticket, I'm just looking through my bag. God, it's here somewhere. Shit, it's the wrong flight. Oh, it's a different prepper dog. And no wonder I was confused. Yeah, that, do that dog just lucked out and got spoiled there. Secret celebrity dog. Have you seen me somewhere? What? Oh gosh, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. Have, he didn't have much to say. I was still just trying to get back to beach, Phil. Time is it now? 2.17. 4.05 is the only one, it seems. Squiggly line one is over here. Of course, this is what the airport terminal looks like now. Okay, he's not here yet. Now I need to find a bench. David Boney's here and he needs his chair. Oh, we did get a chair for him, didn't we? Hang on. Right here, let me check if it's just what my new home needs. Fantastic. Can't tell you how much I want this as a kid. I feel like I've really grown up now. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Wherever you go in the universe, you always have me as a friend. Made a friend. W was the explosive cat in this world too? 
Was it you? No, you're a confusion cat. Bench is over here. Real reward is decreasing your inventory by one. <laughs> Does feel it. Oh god. Getting there. I think I, I think I'm only gonna be able to go like one or two more flights and then I'm gonna have to call it. We'll meet with Krista this time and see what she says. I unfortunately I'm gonna have to hop for the night. I have no idea if this game even ends or if you just keep traveling airports forever. I do want to see if it does end though, but I, I have to call it tonight at some point. A bribe dog wants something. He wants something meaty. Which means I need to get to a vending machine and get it to Salami. <laughs> Which is over here. I just like to know what the human heart is for. It's got to be for something, though. That's the thing. It did say something meaty. Can I give the heart? No, no, he's not into that. Okay, let me f let me find the salami. There you go, bribe dog. Fun fact is, the developer adds an anatomically correct human heart to every game of theirs, including the cute Animal Crossing style poker game. <laughs> Hey, Kenneth, how you doing? You might be wondering how they fit an extremely large dog inside of this plane. I'm not quite sure. They're not quite sure. And I'm here now. I any real idea of how I'm going to leave. Are you okay? Uh, be as quiet and calm and patient with me as possible. You'll be okay, but if I stop holding my breath for even a single second, I will pop open this dag plane like a friggin' balloon. Thank you. You got this, buddy. Maybe it's for confusion if I give him the human heart, maybe. Okay, I th we're gonna have to make this our last stop. I don't know what Krista says. Uh, she, she said she'd be at the record store. Over there. Orb is probably for confusion. I think we tried the orb. I don't think it was that. That was it. Hey, Krista, how you doing? Yeah, I'm just seeing they got it in a record I don't own yet. How much mothcore can one person listen to? And somewhere they're a coward. Fortunately, I'm not. But I knew tracking this man through moth section, even if it kills me. I still feel awful about earlier. I'm sorry. Feel selfish. I can't tell you what dimension I'll be going to when I'm coming back. I mean the world to me. For the first time, I increasingly feel like I, I won't do that world justice. Yeah, I'll try to respond to that. I just thought it was worth saying. You deserve better. That's all. That's not fair. I'm in trouble with this, and I shouldn't be apologizing, but oh, I still want to. This is rough. I promise I'll get over this soon. Maybe we should have a chat. Nope. Okay. That's very much time. The launch is getting pretty close now, and you know I'm not good at talking about this stuff. We have ten seconds left. I want to spend nine of them arguing with you about the right way to eat spaghetti. I love you. Yeah, I think I found one. Words to your mother. Mothman teamed dog rat. What do you think? Let's go. I mean, Uranus next? Go to the butt planet. I have something cool to show you there anyway. It's about time. I love you, weirdo. Alright, one last trip to Uranus. One last trip. Okay, the Marinara Trench. 
854 and it's slope one I was kind of hoping I would get better at navigating the airport at this point but no I'm still so awful at it still do not understand like where I am supposed to be going there's a sign over there Mainly the amount of like cross-continental flying that I've got to do just to see my partner here is like quite absurd. Like every other day we're like changing continents, you know. It's a bit much. How's veteran dog doing? Continents you're changing planets. Ah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I guess you're right. Same thing, really, but no. No, it's not. Dogstrian. Okay, here we are. Gate's not open. Need to go find a seat again. At least all the plane tickets are free. They are. You can just take your time. Immerse yourself in, like, the dog universe with the dog lore. Should be enough. What am I gonna need now for you? Just no. I'm supposed to change that. Throw a tennis ball at me. Okay, back back to the back to the tennis ball shop. Does anyone remember where it was? No, okay. I'll go wandering. Cross the map. Ah, that, that narrows it down. Thank you. Never found the lumber your man was looking for. Which store was it? There's so many. Literally straight opposite the terminal. Okay, let me, let me get over there. You see icons above the stores. I, I'm trying to. Still feel like I'm lost half the time. I should probably get like a few each time. It's been a fun enough game. It is, again, it is supposed to be like a weird concept and kind of like absurd game. It has its own place too. It's been engaged enough that like I'm still playing after all this time. Like. Very much captures the sensation of being lost in the airport. Which, you know, not many games can claim that. <laughs> David Cage, you've done it again. This art. I mean, it's very much like a game of that vein. It's not a mechanically focused experience, to say the least. Your mechanic is wandering the airport and trying to find out what gate you're constantly at. Uh, I need a tennis ball. Where is it? So much inventory. Okay, he's all good. Let me find my ticket. Fitting for a dog game, lots of fetch quests. 
There's a metaphor in there somewhere. This is what the dogs want. Speed dog. Got a car. Oh. Car crashed. Oh. Gonna get a new car. Gonna drive it real fast. Gonna drive it into a wall. I'm sure you should own a car. Gonna go through the wall. I am fast and the wall is slow. I cannot fail. More power to you. I like cars. Dog, dog's living his bet. What's left of his short life now? Carries <laughs> on like that. You know, who am I to judge if you just want to get into constant car crashes? Enjoy yourself. Sup, nerd. What's up, dork? Anyways, it's the giant hole I'm going to shoot myself into pretty soon. Back close now. Things are really accelerated for the big trip. We probably only have a couple more conversations left before I have to go. Iron Dog's tail doesn't stop wagging. It's unnerving. You be safe? The trip there, absolutely. Say what you will about dogs, they're thorough. It's the safest project I've ever been associated with. Nearly disassembled on a molecular level se several times. You imagine a project was even more safe. Dropping pills to every available surface. Easy, give me a sur challenge. You really suffocate on a planet entirely composed of bouncy houses. I forgot about that. Guys, I stand by my incorrect hypothesis. One thing that makes the mission especially interesting is how it integrates alien technology. Dogs typically scavenge and repurpose the stuff humans and aliens leave behind. This is our first time building something entirely new from that foundation. It's safe, weird, and I told you it works. We've done the tests. I'm flying experimental hybrid canine alien technology to a black hole and piercing the veil between dimensions in the process. When I explode, I get the power of a change in the nature of reality itself. Great! Oh, it could be worse. Could have been the one who programmed our flight path. Hey, you didn't write any code for this mission. Let's not talk about that. Not the time for questioning decisions or the skills of my lead pup crammer. The last destination wants to be on Elf Planet. That's like a good time to be. I've always wanted to visit the blue garden at the top. I couldn't quite find the time. Love you so much, weirdo. Wait, okay, this is the last one then. Right, last one. Elf Planet. One last stop again. Yeah, we're looking for C2. Uh... And it's so close you can taste it. That's it. If we're like, if we're like just about to finish the game or something like that, then like, you know, we gotta go a little bit more. Can't just say, well, that's it. Now, I have no idea where this is, by the way. Let me, let me, let me start a search. Might die, but let's not talk about it. Basically. Up ahead. Okay, what do you need? Magic. This one's always nice. You don't even lose the item for it. I haven't found out what to do with the orphanages yet. My ticket. Jump into the big hole? Yeah, I believe I have. Fussy buddy. Oh, I hope this goes okay. This is my first flight ever. What if it all goes wrong? That'd be grand. I think so. Have you flown before? Yeah, it's good. Just afraid I'll do something wrong and get in trouble. My seat fully in the upright position. What's the opposite of upright? Down right? Right right? Just, just... Just take a calm, fussy buddy. How do you relax? Have the whole armrest. If you like, I'm gonna sit here and stare past you out the window till we land. You will land, right? 
Yeah, we'll, we'll look at it. This needs to calm down. Remember big hat elf and do elf big hat dog at elf world. He wants Cosmos pictures. Um, where the fuck is he though? <laughs> like, he's oh he's over here. Okay. Hang on, let's 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 drop this around. It's so hard to find anyone. Again, I think that's the point. I think the game wants you to feel lost. Hey, dog, big dome. Found an alien artifact. Hot dogs, that's true. Today is a spacious day indeed. Well done, son. This is just what we were looking for. We do my due diligence to investigate this before finalizing the plans for that grandiose head here. Thank you. Don't feel good to admit it, but sometimes you do need you do need something to justify thinking about the welfare of your fellow beings first. You can't achieve my dream about hurting folks around me. Just ain't a dream worth pursuing. Look at me waxing philosophical. Sorry about that. You deserve a reward. Son, welcome to the family. <laughs> Amazing. Game changing. Massive hat now. I need to get to the top of here. I can just ride this up a bit. Game of the year, you have a big hat. That's all it takes. Up on here. Need to get the lift up. Look at the shadow. Oh, I didn't see it there. I should have checked. You might be in the top 10 speedrunners of this game. <laughs> what, 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 what's the world record? We're getting lost at the airport. How fast have you got to go? Half an hour, 23 minutes. So we're, I, th I think we're coming up to like the fourth hour. <laughs> so maybe not quite. Twenty-three twenty-five is the world record, my god. Amazing. Hey, how you doing, Krista? Beautiful day in Dog Drusil, as always. It's a bunch of elf dogs daring to be happy, taunting us. Jerks. This is our last conversation before the launch. Probably won't be very coherent on the launch pad, so I figured this is the time to express anything more complex than a whimper. What we had here was unusual. Loyal to me. Me too. So, are we gonna get married at some point? Baby, if you ask me... Nah, I'll do it later. Your loss? You're gonna miss the banter more than anything. It's like playing tennis without a partner. You win, but there's not really a point. It really is a lovely day. Did Iron Dog end up giving you that race? Yes. The race was all in dog bones, but it's the thought that counts. Give me a lot of bones. There's also a large golden brick in the shape of a tortoise. Iron Dog refused to explain, and I'm doing my best not to think about it. Any last major thoughts? Not really. I just love you. I'm enjoying the sunshine and this while it's here. This is the next place we'll meet. We'll be standing next to the compact starship. Can't miss it. Really glad we get to share this. And to be honest, I'm struggling to use present tense. There instead of shared. It's a little thing, but it feels damning. Grammar. Screw dick grammar. Screw grammar. Love you, weirdo, with all of me. All the love in the universe, weirdo. Till next time. Oh, it's sad. It's a very sweet little game. You just learn to say goodbye to someone. Gotta, I gotta jump off here just to get back down.
We just reset it. Okay, Phobos. Beachwell. Okay, go back to Beachwell. Give me that board and pass. Uh, C1. This way? Maybe? <laughs> this way? <laughs> Is it down? I don't know if it is. Just go both ways. Yeah, it's 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 here somewhere. Over here. C one. Uh, I can't see the time. I need it to say zero one. Best respawn sound of all time. It's pretty good. Ooh. Probably is just the dev having some fun. Let's see the time. I think it's open. Hey, Bribe Dog, what do you need? Needs more meat. Uh, let's find a vending machine. Gotta be one about here somewhere. Take the salami. There is a butcher as well. I can't remember what the butcher actually gave me. Was it me? I think he might just give salami as well. Just faster to get it there. Wait, he wants a drink. Oh, this is, this is the wrong gate. Hang on, the wrong bribe dog, sorry. Bribe a different dog. Don't get confused between the identical gates, you know? In an alien language. One last flight and we're to good. Hacker dog. Heard about dog hackers, what do you do? I'm glad you asked. Most dogs just ask me if mechanical keyboards taste as good as they look. When dogs moved into galactic responsibility, a lot of the alien tech we found accepted us like we've always been there. Exceptions to why they call me in. Tap into biometric systems and alien geometry to find out if they make it work for all of canine kind. On the way, we might even figure out why the tech was first created. Do something new every day, I love it. Sometimes it's dangerous. I look at my keyboard in fear. Other times it's just indigestion. Oh, he's eating them. Okay. Without context, this is odd. Dogs. That's the context you need. Like, there, there really isn't much. It is it is a surreal game. Just, just don't think too hard. Yeah, we gotta go to Uranus. Uh, we'll get the 139. Does anyone remember where this was? Dogs in an airport, best game. It's just the dog airport game. All you need to know. Okay. Oh, we got it right. Nice. 
blow there. Need to wait till 1.39. What time is it now? <laughs> well, time to spend like seven hours sitting on a bench again. It's just not quite ready. Oh wait, no, we have a bed. We have a bed. Yep, you're right. Hang on. Let me... Still gotta f spend a few hours on the- on the bench. How you doing? I'm all good. Where's Matt Pat when you need him? I mean, this is, this is what we're missing out on game theory, you know? This game needs to be analyzed with their dark, gritty undertones. Statement on society. Actually, just a sweet little game. Honestly, I've actually been really enjoying it. Hard to describe. Because you are just getting lost, and it's kind of, you know, like, Oh, God, where do I go now? The experience is good and kind of just like going with the flow a bit there. You just chat the dog so like you don't even notice the time go. It's weird because like in other games, like this would probably really frustrate the fuck out of me. Because that is you're basically just doing fetch quests constantly. But like. I don't know what it is with like the pacing or like the snippets of reward and story. It's like I'm I'm just I'm interested enough that it's like, yeah, okay. Let's see what's going on there. Here is mine. Yeah, he wants a big drink. This drink needs to be massive if you're going aboard this flight. Oh, I need to get the, the coffee. Hang on. A coffee place over here. It's a suitcase one. We haven't used the suitcase for any of them yet. It's over here somewhere. Runner Boy Vibes, it's a bunch of fetch quests, but it's good writing and humor, so it's weird. That's the thing, yeah, like, it actually has gotten a few laughs out of me. Like while playing here. I think that's like the main thing if you're presenting like a game with like as a weird of a concept of this like you know you Gotta do something to kind of make it entertain and like engage and Because because otherwise it is just torturous Okay one big coffee Get a second one just to be safe. Got that goofy at heart. Oh goodness, going on. That's the thing. Yeah, it's sweet. to show you don't even need to be like you know the best modeler in the world to make like a game with a bit of heart or like mean that you know like this is just like random shit just splattered everywhere i mean your dogs are freaking just jpegs you know <laughs> not the most complicated shit and i don't mean that in like a bad way it's like huh they don't have real graphics it does the job like the absurd premise. Not Perry though. Perry was actually modeled now, yeah. Perry's cool. Where's my ticket? Okay. The last flight. Farmer dog. Sure do love farming. All the bacon trees lifting over the land. You're gonna dump to fertilize the peanut butter orchard. <laughs> I just 
I love tending to the crops in the fields. Uh, sometimes I just take a shit on them, you know, just to make them extra special. Putting up a scarecrow, you know, for the vampires. Caring for a living. I reckon I do, partner. Only way you're gonna be vampires in this life. Taking dumps in the bacon fields. Mm, yep. That is like a weird, uncomfortable thing, because realistically, like, even like, us as farmers can pretty much just do that. But we just try not to think about it. Yo, like, like wow, Grandma, like, the carrots you and Grandpa prepared this year for dinner, for dinner, like, they taste great. And they grew so quick. Well, that's because your, your old man took a shit in the field. Earlier, we've been fertilizing it real good these last months. Oh, carnivore shit is actually really bad fertilizer. Oh, okay. All right. So, all right. Don't, don't, don't try that at home then. That's not. That's not gonna go the way you want. Oh, I missed it. Hang on. Unless you what if you're vegan? <laughs> okay, like I mean this is a question maybe for the scientists. If I am a vegan And is it, it it it's just it's just like clean, healthy living in my system. Is it okay to take a shit in your crops? fertilize them. <laughs> Is it okay then? If horses do it, sure. We'll consult with the Discord professors, we'll get back to you. Thank you. This is important. We're not even going to actually finish the game until we have a dedicated answer for this. We need to know. Ethically, yeah. The crops won't care. Go crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tango, how you doing? This is a very unfortunate first time in chat. <laughs> God, let's check in with RT, see what he's up to today. So if I took a shit on my carrots... Sincerely apologize. Uh, wash the crops after harvest and the shit is washed off. I mean, but the, you have to do that already, because, I mean, if you think about it, uh, you know, crops being fertilized and whatnot, that, they've actually been through a lot. You know? If you have chickens and you're growing carrots, you actually probably want them to shit in it, because chicken shit's actually really good for your crops. No joke, you actually probably want that. It's weird to think about, but it's true. Biologically speaking, the gut microbes that go with the feces are still bad for the plants and you. <laughs> oh, but, is there any kind of diet, though? Is there any kind of diet where it would work? Like, really clean eating. No. Oh, okay. Alright. But the Martian movie? <laughs> Wait a minute! Yeah, he did that in the Martian! Are you telling me Matt Damon should have died on Mars? That's not accurate at all, then! He should be dead! Matt Damon should be dead then, if what you say is true. Matt Deadman. Oh, so here's the ship. I, I, can I do anything else? Oh, she's here. <laughs> I was just sorry. I'm sorry, Krista. I, listen, if I took a shit on the potatoes, do you think that would be good for dinner or? <laughs> 
I'm having a lengthy conversation with my Twitch chat, Crystal, right now. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I know, I know you're like the part in this reality or something with the dogs. So this is it. The shuttle is ready to go. As soon as I finish talking to you, I'm gonna hop into another dimension and see what comes next. For all of dog and humankind. Dogs agreed to wait for us, for me. You know how important it is to say goodbye. Except, you know, it's hard to say goodbye. It, it's really, really hard. I knew I'd have trouble. So, uh, bye, um... Anything you want to say? Only two humans left, and I'm so glad the other person was you. Bought in the edge of stars. Cuddled inside of bounce houses the size of planets. Between things people couldn't even imagine was possible. Can't imagine a single person I'd rather be with at the end of the world. It wasn't your choice, but thank you for being there through everything. God, I hate this. Hang on, Krista. I prepared one final meal before you go on your journey. Now you might be wondering how I prepared this these roast vegetables so quickly and in time for your departure. Let me tell you, a radical new farming technique. <laughs> Here's the next dimension, right? <laughs> and to all the dimensions we sh will share. You okay? Not really. You want me to say it? Please. I love you, weirdo. I love you too, weirdo. So, so much. And that is an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. That was very sweet. Shit, Tate! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> so, oh, I may have ruined some of the emotional impact. <laughs> 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 Fucking shit, Tatos. Oh, the whiplash. Ah, well, that was wonderful. I actually really liked that. Yeah, that was a really sweet game. I, I actually thought that was really fun. Very surreal and absurd, but enjoyable. And it actually does shockingly capture the experience of going through airports when you don't know where anything is. It's very jarring. It's like, oh god, I gotta walk back and forth and get things all the time. You're ruining the end of the funny dog game. I'm sorry. Oh god. Shit, Tatos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Discord professors had a democratic vote and we agree with RT. Okay, good to know. On a coincidental note, I will no I, I will not be accepted any homegrown vegetables at future meet and greets. Uh <laughs> let's let's just not take any chances. Game we can totally replay after watching on stream since I have absolutely no clue what's going on in the stream. That's fair, yep. Oh, shout out to at Xbox. That's very sweet. And you, thanks for supporting it. A lot of people in there. Thanks for supporting our weird game about a universe of airports run by stock photo dogs. Please do your next adventure. I'd say Megan Fox. Now I, I'm assuming it's a different Megan Fox because that would, you know, like. 
It'd be like me having like a video. It's like, hey, you know, this one's for Taylor Swift. You know, and it's just like, what's the correlation? You know, like I'm assuming it's somebody knows, or like the dev knows. <laughs> like, oh, well, that was wonderful, and we will leave the stream there for tonight. But thank you everyone for coming by. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, now, big thing, the next while I'm for housekeeping. Megan Fox famously loves fetch quest heavy indie titles. It's true, it's true. Every time she's on the set of Transformers, she's just working away there, you know? I'm playing Stardew Valley. I'm playing Stanley Parable today. Um, housekeeping for the next while. And important for me to mention, I am going to be in Bristol as of tomorrow for the Yogg's Cast Jingle Jam. We are going to be streaming for charity for the next week and raising as much money as we can for a variety of charities. Uh, myself towards Whale and Dolphin Conservation. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone that's already donated uh, to Whale and Dolphin Conservation already. I think we've... Did, did we hit 30 grand? I think we're just shy of it. We're close to it. Okay, yeah, geez, we're on thirty-four thousand pounds already raised, and that's what—that's what me not actually doing a proper charity stream yet. That's me just simply sharing that hey, we're fundraising this next well, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's done that. Seriously appreciate it. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of money for well and dolphin conservation. It means a lot. We will be doing dedicated streams though with like proper tiltify overlay. Catch and donations as the stream goes on, of course. It's going to be dolphin related because we're going to be playing a game called Lotto Knots, which is about cleaning up the ocean. The proceeds from the profit of that game actually go towards whale and dolphin conservation. Let me double check that just for you. Uh, but we will be doing that over the course of the next week. Uh, for streams, I think the next stream from me, I will be on the Yogscast Twitch channel. The next one will be on their channel. I will... Best way for me to share this is I'll put up a tweet and a Discord post kind of telling you guys what streams I'm in so you can keep an eye out for it. And that will be like the main streams the next one. And outside of that, it's kind of just like more off schedule. I'll get in what I can, where I can, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll post that on the Discord and on my... Twitter, just so you guys have it somewhere. It's like, hey, I'm in this one. Once I know I am in is I'm in the Mario Kart. I'm down for like games with a Spiff and Kiwo and Ash. Um, we have like Marioki, which is a fantastic one uh, that I'll be taking part in. Uh, Marioki is karaoke night, but all of the lyrics have been swapped for songs that you know, and they're now about video games. Um, so shout out to Britney Spears' Tetris. I'm slipping under. And many other classic songs. Uh, it's pretty good. It's really good fun. I will be there for that one too. And I'm really excited to be down. Should be good fun. But yeah, so just, that's a big heads up. Stream schedule is just going to be weird the next while. I'll be on the Yogscast channel a lot of days. Uh, and so you know where that is and where to find me. We are going to raid them right now. I don't actually know what they're doing currently. But I'm going to leave you in their care. And I will catch you all soon. Have a very lovely night, gang. Thank you so much for watching. And take care.